You're back. I'm back. This feels good, man. Yeah. How you been? I've been great. I've been doing really good. I've been like honestly working on myself, like trying to, trying to uh, focus, focus, man. I see it. I like your tweets. <sighs> oh, you like the tweets? I like the tweets. I, I see. I see everyone's while interacting. Yeah. yeah. No, I've just been like on a different way, man. Completely like mentally, just way different than I've been for a you while. You got the toes out now. I got the toes out. I'm showing the dogs. They're they're howling. It's like it is what it is, man. Spiritual LA guy now. Yeah. Honestly, under this, I have like a whole like. No, like, you don't. You like chains and like, no. but they're, they're not like gold chains. They're like, is he lying? No, I'm totally lying. Okay. But no. So, so what have you been on, man? The YouTube. I mean, besides like getting in arguments with people, like always. I'm not really. I mean, I am, but uh, I've been traveling a lot. I've been I'm in Spain and Morocco. I made these two fire videos, uh, rat race and how I learned to love the Unabomber. I've been making like my OG videos, but Twitter's <laughs> good because you, Unabomber, shout out to the Unabomber, man. A real OG. <laughs> uh, rest in peace to the Unabomber. And uh, yeah, Twitter is adding monetization now. I'm excited about that. Yeah. So I've been trying to take advantage. I'm still posting on Rumble a lot too, but been been grinding just nonstop. I'm going to Thailand tomorrow. So you're flying to Thailand tomorrow. I'm flying to Thailand tomorrow. So I was I'm only in LA for like six hours and then boom. Holy sh flew. You did you did no jumper. Then you came here and then yep. you're gonna leave and tomorrow then morning to the Thailand. Yeah. Damn. Look yeah. at you, man. Yeah. So so so. Now that you're not on YouTube, where does all your money come from? Rumble streaming? Yo, why are you pocket watching like that? I, got, I just want to know, dude. I just want to know because you're a baller now. Because now, honestly, I'm asking this question because you got a videographer now, and that's different. That's different. That means yeah. you're coming up. Wait, like, you want to say what's up? That means you're not going. Yeah, down. pull up, pull up. He, in, he's adding right. No, no, you're, you keep betting him though. I'm just saying it because like I've seen you a lot, and you're always a one man show. Solo, yeah. And now you got a guy. Yeah, this is Sakeb. This is uh, I've been traveling with Sakeb. We went to Spain and Morocco together. He's editing right now, so he's got a. Bye. Nico is on a different level now. He's oh, you know, it's cool to travel with him. We did the rat race video together. The, he's in his artistic bag. Again. It's good to see. So, What's yeah. different then? What's different? What's actually different for you? Because like, I've known you for some time. You hadn't had a guy. Why did you decide to finally get a guy? Like, what, what are you trying to do? I mean, I had I have two editors. Uh, shout out to Bronson too. But I have a team, but most of the time I don't travel with them. Or I've been trying to travel more recently. So I did a month straight all of May. I was grinding. You seen with Zerka, just yeah. doing streams every single day, nonstop. Non-stop content streams, what? but then like it gets stale and it gets repetitive. So oh, you don't need to like. <laughs> yeah. What's uh, this? What's this? Who, who this is this Zerka guy? Because I've seen a bunch of his. You have him on the pod. I do. I'm gonna have, have him on, on, right? I'm gonna have him on the thirtieth. But like, <laughs> yo, he just says the most outrageous. Yeah. Like he's he's a character. Uh, he's great to have on stream. Uh, I see him kind of like a different version. We're. Two sides of a similar coin. It's funny because I grew up Catholic and now I'm Muslim. He grew up Muslim and now he's Catholic. And we're just sitting there like debating about Christianity Bro. and Islam all the time. But he, I mean, he red pilled me on the globe. The earth is probably flat. No, don't do no, that. The don't earth do is flat. that. We can, we can get don't, into it. Man. You really think that? Have you ever held a, a tennis ball? Yes, of course. Where's the flat point on a tennis ball? Where's the flat point? Yeah. I mean, not like. On a tennis ball. Like, where's, the, where's the flat part? There's not a flat part. There's none. Yeah. So why every time you see the, the earth, it's flat. There's a big flat part on the earth. It's just a bigger tennis ball. Distance. Distance? Distance. Show me one picture of round earth. If you take the biggest cameras of all time and zoom all the way out. Bro, listen, I was on flat. Empire State Building once. That was curving. No, it wasn't. I was curving. Maybe I've, it was been, I've seen that same that thing. That shit was curving. I saw it with my own eyes. You have dude. a picture? No, I, have my, I took a picture with my eyes. No, dude. you didn't. See, my that's eyes. what I'm saying. I was way up there. Yo, one time I was on a plane. I saw it curving. Because the window has a fisheye thing because it's the... Nah, nah. This window was different. This was a private plane. It was a straight window. No fisheye. Are you flexing on all of us now? Are you go no. on private chest? So <laughs> no. now you know the earth is round? No, dude. Maybe there... But I don't know. I'm, I'm not a globe tar. This is That's stupid to think that. SpaceX? Well, Elon's telling us a secret, man. X? There's no space. Oh, it's just... Whoa. You know what I'm saying? Holy shit. Yeah, Speaking so. of Elon, who is winning this fight? If they Zuck is fight? winning, but I think it's already over. Why? Why do you think he's winning? Because he trains jujitsu. I mean, I want Elon to win. Shout out to Elon Musk. Like, thank you for getting me back on Twitter. But I mean, Zuck is just—he's like got that lizard energy, man. He's just lizard built different. He's—he's he's built like a reptile. You can't beat a reptile. Yeah. You're gonna beat a Komodo dragon in a fight. Yeah. Well, it's—it's it's supposed to be. It's not just jujitsu, right? It's supposed to be MMA. Because they're, they are seriously. Because I saw clips of Dana talking about this. Yeah. They're like actually talking about it. But that's the internet now. Things come and go in like 20, 24 hours. It's already over. It's already not happening. But bro, like that's that. This whole thing is so crazy to me. Like, what's the? Is there like you know how every time something happens, you know like the submarine stuff. Everyone's like the submarine stuff. What what are they hiding? Something else is there. Like, do you think that's a real thing? Do you think the that submarine? They do, 
I, I think that every- not the summary not being a real thing or not. Do you think that like the whoever they are let these things happen so that other things can go like dismissed? So you think that there's psyop news to make us all distracted while they implement different things? Yes, do I do. 100%. Genuinely. I mean, the same reason that Tate was arrested or Tate was charged the same day that Hunter Biden was charged. Everyone's talking about Tate being charged. Hunter Biden, the son of the president, has all these videos of him smoking crack with Thai teenagers. That completely yeah. doesn't get talked about, but everyone's focused on the, on the lie. Same thing with the submarine. If you look at who they are, if you look at who owned the submarine, Ocean Gate, the biggest donors and the, the people who on the board of directors of Ocean Gate, the submarine, the Rothschild family, the richest family in the world. I don't know enough about this. The Family, they control the central bank system and they started the Federal Reserve. So, I mean, it's always, if you look into any conspiracy, if you but look at- What would the point be for these guys to die in this thing? So there's a couple options. I'm not going to say I know, but one thing that billionaires, maybe they are faking their death because they don't want to keep interacting with people or they owe a lot of money. So they're faking a lot of death, like in a submarine or- That was the first thing I thought of. They're going away to an island forever. Yeah, they're probably faking their death. I, I don't know. It's just- Get you away. Can't, can't believe, yeah, billionaires, or, it's, it's too cartoony. Bro, or they're just like, they've done everything that they're like, I want to see Titanic. Like, like, or they're just that corny that like they've done it all. They got all the money. They're like, I want to see the Titanic. And they just, but it's like, when I think of that, I go, okay, that could make sense. But why, why in such a basic ass piece of thing that was just not meant for that, apparently? Would you go? Mr. Beast was like, he was tweeting. No, I wouldn't go. I don't even want to go on a fucking, like, no, I'm not skydiving. I'm not doing that. No. You're not skydiving? No, man. I'm I think you're too that. fat to go sky. I think you're too heavy to go yeah, skydiving. Yeah, yeah. I think I am too heavy. I think you outweigh. 260. That's, yeah, you're not going on. Because you got to have a guy with you, and it's like, I know that, that the dynamics is not. Bumbo Claude. Yeah, it's not working, man. So you got to get a 262 pound guy to hold your back and strap onto you while you fly through the air and cry? Yeah. That's crazy. Well, apparently you jump out, and then, like, all of a sudden, like, a couple seconds go by, and you just go, that's what I hear. And you don't even think about it. I, like just a few seconds then you go, ah, I couldn't get it. over it. I'm probably like in the most intimate moment of all time, like flying through the sky while some other guy's grabbing my waist slowly. Yeah. And then his beard tickles your neck. I couldn't do it. Yeah. Uh. You honestly, I want to go do it now. <laughs> <laughs> you got me excited. No, 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 no. Okay. Be so, oh man, dude. Uh, who but yeah, how you been? How you been? Let me ask you some questions. What, what you been up to, Brad? Honestly, it's why I invited you, man. I've been, I told you earlier. I want to hear about it. I've you you want to get a wife. Yeah, dude. I want a wife. What Do you think it's a good or a bad decision? That's the right decision, man. That's the right okay. decision, yeah. I like that. I would get a couple. I think you're going to get bored with one. <laughs> get I, a few. Here's, here's my problem, man. I tried for way too long to have a couple. Not wives, just like I doing too much. But that, see, the lying and stuff, that's where it goes south. You have to get them in a, in a halal way. In a way okay. where it's a, there's an understanding, there's an agreement. Okay, I will admit... I will admit there are looking back now, knowing what I know now, I wish I was a little more honest throughout like those like scumbag years of mine. Yeah. Um, that I, I really actually do wish that I was more just like transparent with what I was doing and, and why I was doing it, how I was doing it, you know, to the extent. Um, lying I think, is feminine. Lying is you're admitting that you're afraid of the truth. So you need to go and cope. It's bullshit. It is, it is bullshit. Looking back now, I'm like, F man, I wish I just was just like, this is what I'm doing. Because honestly, if I look at it now, I would have had way more success in, in those like, you know, relationships, not that I needed them to work out to some crazy degree, but it just would have been way more seamless. People would have been less hurt. I would have been less hurt. Like just telling the truth. Cause for some reason, I don't know why though, we're ta like almost taught or we're like convinced that like, if you know, if, Oh, if they know this about me, that that person's going to reject me and be like, no, nah, I don't want to fuck you cause you're doing this or that. But I think it's like actually the opposite happens when you actually have that real conversation with someone and then someone could see you for who you really are. Cause like, we're all kind of like a little especially at certain points in our life, you know? And, and I look back now, I'm like, damn, I wish I was just more straightforward because I think like there's probably relationships, not that I need them to work or I wish they would have worked, but there's certain relationships that I look back on that like it just could have ended more amicably that was just like it didn't have to go the way that it did, you know? And it always so. starts with lying and with deception. Yeah. So I'll, I'll really, but what makes you decide that you want to have a wife now? I, I'm, I want to as well. I've been, I've been looking around. How old are you trying now? To, I'm 24, turning 25. Damn. I wish I was on that earlier. I didn't start caring about this stuff until I was about 26, 27. Mm -hmm. And then started taking it serious when I was like 28. I was like, oh, I, I really actually do kind of want to settle down. Um, but and why I want- 46. Now forward. I'm 100, dude. No, now I'm 34. And uh, that, I mean, age is obviously a thing, but at the same time, like I've just gotten to a point in my life where like, I have so much of all the other stuff that I've kind of always wanted. And I don't have that aspect. And I've talked about this before on podcasts, but like I was just so focused on 
achieving, having, getting like, and then it just, you get so caught up in like just continuing that motion that like, I didn't give enough time to, okay, what about my personal life and these personal relationships and like these things that I also need to get the skills and be better at, to, you know, cause like I said, I came out of that years, like all my twenties just being a scumbag. And then next, thing you know, you're like, I'm looking around like, Oh, f I, I could have learned a lot more through this time. Had I been more honest in certain situations, had I've like been more truthful about what I was doing and, and to the extent. And I just look at it now and I'm like, Oh, sh not that side that I need to put a lot of work into. I guess I just wished I, I was giving it more attention sooner, you know, cause I would, I think I would have been further along the way of like, getting to where I want to be. But then again, it's like everything's in God's time. It just is what it is at a point. You just kind of have to just, okay, I'm realizing it now and just trying to move forward. And that's the thing, man. I just, like I said, the truth is I have everything else. And it's like a whole aspect of my life that I've never, ever included on the internet, which is like essentially my life at this point because I show up and I talk about it and I share about it and I ask people questions about all this shit, And it's all televised at this point. A whole aspect of my life I never put on the internet. And I'm at a point where I'm not saying I'm trying to find a girl just to put her on the internet, but like, I want to involve someone in my life without it being a secret. I want to involve someone in my life without it being like some hidden. Do you want to publicize your marriage? I don't need to publicize it. No, I don't need to publicize it. But like, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to be in a situation where like, I have to hide everything, you know, where like the person feels disconnected from me because they're like, oh, I'm not, you know, like no one knows about me. Not that everyone needs to know. I don't need to be like, yo, sit on the podcast. Let's talk about our relationship. I don't want that. But like, you know, if I'm doing something or if I'm on like a trip, I don't want to like take a video and be like, yo, shh. Yeah, the cameraman. Can you know what I'm don't saying? Film like, her. Yeah, 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 like I don't want to be with my chick yeah, and be like, hold on, can you stop for a second? And then film Your videographer's it. laughing really hard at that. No, <laughs> I'm just saying. I, 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 in, that, in those two claps I heard all the times like where, the, where Brad's like, no, turn the camera. Wait, yeah. wait, wait cut That's that what out. I'm saying. Like, yo, yo, put it, put it down. I just, I want it to be like, this I've been is there. just, just, yeah. just, this is it. This is me. You know, and like, not again, like, I don't, I don't, it doesn't need to be like some televised thing, but I just, I'd rather talk about things and share about things that are just, and just in a really like candid way. Cause like, I'm just, I don't know, man. I'm just, I just don't give a hiding shit anymore at all. Seems like you were doing that a lot in your twenties, huh? Do you, do you regret that? That's what I'm talking about. So that's what I'm saying. Like I had so much, like looking back, certain relationships, certain things, even friendships, like could have been better if I just was like less trying to like keep things a uh, secret like to everyone you know what i'm saying like i was always so afraid because i was just afraid of like my biggest fear was because i had been in situations on the internet like you know how you get attacked a lot like people love to f we'll talk about this in a sec but yeah like i would i i was so brand new to it. this is gonna be funny i was so brand new to it and the internet wasn't such a thing now that it's just like oh you could just keep going regardless like i was not privy to that and so when it happened to me when i was younger I had like problems in like the, the industry that I was in and I dealt with like all this crazy backlash to the degree that like that would have been right around the times that I was like, oh, I'm going to start like having relationships and like maybe I'll put on the internet, whatever. And then I was like, oh, f no, because I saw what could happen if oh, someone yeah. got on the internet and was like, yeah, you know about it. Hell that. yeah. But someone can get on the internet. Like literally I can get on the internet. I could get on my podcast with you not sitting here and have a conversation with like Hassan or something and be like, bro, yo, I saw, <laughs> I saw, I saw Sneeko like beat someone up, like beat his girl up. And I could just say that and just slander your name forever. I could, I, that's not true. That never happened. Right. That never happened. But I had been in situations where people made me to be something that I wasn't. And it was so early on in the internet and I, and I saw the effect of it on like my comments and the reaction. It hurt me so much that I was like, Oh, I gotta like, I gotta like avoid and then, it, and then it made me very, very afraid to involve a woman because I was like, well, if I put the woman on the internet and then the people see her and they get to know her and if we don't work out, I'm like, they're going to try to pick sides and be like, he's a bad guy because it didn't work out, like this kind of thing. Yeah. So I was afraid of it. Yeah. I've, there's some things that you should keep private. Like there, For sure. There's just some things that I, I always went into it with the mindset like, oh, I'll just be an open book. I'm just going to say everything like ups and downs, trials and errors. But you know, and if you're not mentally prepared, I mean, I'm not to, saying I want to talk about everything. That's insane. Yeah. Don't, no. don't do that. I'm just saying I want to like, yeah, don't definitely don't do don't that. Do right? that. Yeah, I mean, you did that. And that was keep, keep some things to yourself. I don't know why you did that, dude. Keep, keep some things to yourself. I mean, you know what? You were like a martyr. Yeah, I went, I'm like Jesus of pretty of, of podcasts. Yeah. You went you took, you were like, <laughs> dude, you I'm proud of you, man. Honestly, hey, you, you didn't you have to what, say man? any of that. Thanks, man. You didn't have to say any I of that. I didn't have to. I didn't have to. That's the thing. These mother don't get like that's the thing you know the crazy thing about it the craziest thing about what you did yeah 
99.9 percent a hundred percent of people almost wouldn't do and those motherfuckers do like they talk shit about you or they run their mouth about you bet you money they do some weird ass shit they don't want no one to know about and they oh, yeah. never tell no one about of course it. that's the thing that i find so interesting when i watch all these videos like i'll see people like run their mouth about you or you run their mouth about them and i find it so interesting like <clears throat> we're all just like mirrors and we all say like yo you're doing this and you're doing that but it's like bro like everyone's everyone's trying to figure their shit out and the thing that i don't get is this like really large divide now this like red pill blue pill woke all this shit it's like people are really like <laughs> i don't know dude i look at it i watch these clips and i'm like what the f are they even talking about yeah, I like i watched some clips of you and talking to this guy this guy penguin or charlie where this guy's name is yeah, yeah. i was watching all this shit and i was like what is this shit? i also watch this stuff i'm like why do people watch this shit? Huh. the guy sitting just talk shit. yeah and i guess people love it but it's just it's so crazy how just like i feel like everyone is so obsessed now at least in, it seemed like in your community uh like the streamers on like making everyone else wrong and making themselves right everybody wants to be the example of the perfect person everyone's trying to be the the moral backbone of everything especially when you're a streamer because you need to put yourself at a position of authority if you're speaking all the time you need to seem like you know exactly what you're talking about and you know the right way and people don't want to put themselves in a vulnerable situation where they're that where they're at risk to be wrong or they can admit that they are growing and learning and everybody like at, at every age uh will always change and adapt and continue to to learn new things like even now we could watch this podcast in 10 years from now and be like yo remember that like yeah. what you, you could reminisce about your 30s when Bro, you're in your 40s and 50s. i can tell you right now and I, I know i interrupt you i apologize but since our very first podcast you've already evolved I could, just talking to you, just the energy, the vibe overall, just having right this conversation. Yeah, right I was now. pretty angry. The first time I was thinking back now, I remember the, the first podcast. I was like, that was really red pill rage. Uh, just realizing the truth about the world and, and how I believed in a lot of the lies that they spread and what's going on. It will keep you in a constant state of rage. And I, I carried that for a while and uh, realizing that I, I've been lied to and that most people are programmed. Uh, it makes you pretty upset. That's why I, I like the Unabomber a lot because he never really got over it. And he found a different solution than most people. I think that if he found... If he, I think if he found a place where he could uh, have a proper direction in life, and for me, it's Islam, but for him, he never really was able to get that. And so he kind of just carried, he was mailing bombs to people uh, and just living in the cabin Not for his whole life. Not the way to do that. Not the way to do that. But he, yeah. at the example, that's why I recommend you guys watch the video. It's like he was psyop by the CIA. They put MK, they put him under mind control, literally. They gave him an asset and then put a bright light onto him. And they, they made him go crazy at 16 when he was in Harvard. The CIA. So not people will carry this rage but there there's got to be a way out there's got to be a solution and so this back and forth that you're talking about like red pill blue pill i know this you don't know that i hate you i hate you uh there, there's no actual solution to it and people kind of monetize the problems in the world yeah people find a way they they find mm -hmm. the disenfranchised people or, or they see that there's a loneliness they see that there's a mostly young men are, are extremely depressed and so they give you like this is the solution yeah. and then you see a lot of weird stuff going on uh like for example i just saw um the the godfather of the red pill at at the no jumper studio who's there and the guy was like you know advocating for vasectomies like saying that it, to be a high value man you need to get a vasectomy and it's like the people that are going to see that like yeah i hate women Ugh, snip like this is not going to make a better society so there's i think that we should try to 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 be honest and, and to, to do the right thing and, and not just speak and, and monetize the people that are disenfranchised because that, that's the truth. Like most people that gravitate towards your content or blue pill or any type of content, they there's something that they're lacking in their own life. And so they find a solution in the content. But a lot of it is not actually meant to help you. It's just meant to make you feel better with your own situation or speak to your rage. But this is the thing that I find so interesting. Like it's it's essentially the same content like both ways like obviously two different perspectives everyone's making money and the, the thing that i just find interesting is like obviously i know people need to make money and obviously i know people want to make money and they like want to make a living because you couldn't do these things or go and do the things you want to do you couldn't make the content if you didn't have the money i know how this works right because i've been doing it for so many years but like it seems like it's gotten to a point that it's just about just trying to prove someone else wrong so that you're right and not because like something's actually right. And like, that's the thing that irks me. Yeah. I watch it all and like, that's why I wanted to talk to you. Like I watch everyone's stuff and everyone says this and then they say that and it's like, like they're all talking now. Like I was, I was just, I'm not this, I wasn't talking about Hassan earlier and I thought you were going towards oh, you were? that. Who? I wasn't talking about Hassan, but Who's I'm that? talking about Hassan right now and oh. I'm talking about the, the streamers and the kick and this like morality of like, 
you know, the gambling stake owns the kick thing and kick is getting all these people from Twitch. And I'm looking at this I'm like, why the fuck are these people like saying this is worse than that? And I have this really like, it's just like, dude, gambling is like integrated into so many massive things. And I'm not saying that's okay, but like, where, where are we getting on these like moral high roads of like, oh, it's okay here. It's not okay there. It's okay when it's DraftKings on like, and Twitch, it's okay when it's in, in our face in sports. Well, Rumble it's has like, its own cloud. Rumble has its own services. Kick is hosted on Amazon Web Service, and it was funded by Stake Guys. Like, it's literally owned by Stake. So it's owned by a gambling company. It's not like it's, there's just gambling in there. It's, it is a, a gambling site hosted by Amazon Web Service. Wait, you're not talking about Rumble. You're talking about Kick. Kick is, is hosted on Amazon Web Service. The same you said web Rumble. Service. Yeah, sorry. Rumble has its own cloud. It's its own Rumble thing. has its own cloud. Its own cloud, right. Amazon Web Service is the, sa is the same cloud that Kick and Twitch are both on. So it's like Kick is this new thing, but it's on the same cloud as Twitch. And then Stake owns Kick, and Stake is a gambling site. So that's why people criticize that. Yeah, but like, so who gives a f point is like they both promote gambling. Rumble doesn't. No, no, no. Not, I'm not talking about Rumble. I'm talking about, I'm talking about this argument, this Kick and Twitch thing. Well, Twitch stopped. That's why, that's why Kick was created. No, Twitch still does the DraftKings. They brought and all it that back. Stuff. Well, they, they, they banned slots, and they banned the, the Stake thing, and that, that's how Kick was created. Because the Pokemans and like the other people of the world, they started saying like gambling is taken away from my hot tub stream. And so, bro, this is the thing I don't, I just don't. So, so what's your, what's your problem that you're like, why is everybody arguing all the time? Yeah, dude. Like, obviously I know. Dude, like, we're Brad never puts his that. toes out. He's like, I just want a wife, man. Yeah. I just want to, I just <laughs> I just want to wanna, meditate, I just, bro. Yo, I just, dude, listen, man. Like, I'm like, chakras, man. Yeah. I mean, dude, <laughs> Zen fuck, mode. It's like, just, it's right here. Anyways. No, dude, Chill. I just, I get it. Like, I understand everyone's making money, but like. I just, I sometimes I just look at it on like this feels corny to me because I know it's, it's like at it's its core, genuine. it's just about money. It feels disgenuine. Yeah. Like everyone's trying to get money. I'm trying to get money. Like we're all making money doing this stuff. I'm not saying I only do it for that. I'm not saying you guys only do it for that. But like when it comes to like, I think like I have a gym, I have other stuff and I'm not saying it's like higher or greater sort of like purpose. But when it comes to this kind of content, which is just you're speaking about topics that like oftentimes are just extremely divisive. So of course they garner a ton of attention and a ton of like, yes, men or no men and all this. It's like, <clears throat> it's, it's, I don't know. To me, it seems like we're just, we're just spinning this wheel of nonsense in the world. Like you're just spinning it. We're just and you're talking. just spinning it faster you, and faster. You, you just think it's all noise. And you're just spinning it faster and faster. And you're just exacerbating the thing that you're both trying to like my side and my side. And, like both sides are trying to be like, we're fucking right. And that guy's fucking woke pussy with blue hair and it's like i, I dude it's all f hilarious to me i look at it, i'm like this it, this is all just it's the same exact thing yeah it's just we're over here this person over here but the same thing's happening and the people on the outside they're not like necessarily getting better from it that's what i find so interesting i feel like people are just like i mean maybe in the sense that people just like to have a side and they like to pick a side and if that's their sense of getting better then that's better than nothing and so there is value there if I look at it like really just candidly. But for the most part, it still just creates like I'm, I believe something. So if I meet someone and they don't believe what I believe, then like we're, there's a little bit of this here. Mm -hmm. And it's just creating more of that. And it's just like like it's spreading like wildfire now. Like it just looks like it's only getting worse. Cause dude, and I'll tell you this. And I, I see what you're saying. This is like this is crazy to me. This is the craziest Twitter account. This kid is the biggest fucking loser I've ever seen in my life. And I, I want, I don't follow him, but I see him suggested. I read these fucking tweets. Who? Some fucking kid who I, I, I don't know the person, but Harry something. He tweets oh, yeah, about yeah, like, yeah, the like Biden guy. Biden shit. He's paid by the Democratic Party. Bro, but yeah, I don't. It's like I don't care. It's like even if you are a complete fucking dumb motherfucker, like the dumbest person on the planet, you could clearly read this and be like, <laughs> clearly, like this guy has an agenda. Well, like yeah, he's like, paid by the Democratic Party. He's like, so it, Biden is good, and we're coming at. Take it's your like, votes. Like, I, can't, you, I can't see how stupid. Try, it's like, dude, shut the fuck up. But you like, see how you're kind of picking. You, you see that there's one side that's spreading lies and there's one side that's good. Like the side that believes in God and is telling you to work out and to be open minded and to do the right thing and be a good person. And versus the side that lies about how much money they're making, who's paying for their, their podcast, where their ideology comes from, the kind of degeneracy that they're promoting when you look at all like the, the schools and how everybody has blue hair and they're saying that we're coming for your children. There's one side that's good and there's one side that's bad. I understand that you're seeing a lot of back and forth and even on the side that I'm probably on, there are, can be people that are 
speaking to disenfranchised people and kind of just speaking to the rage, they are trying to improve you. They are trying to get you better. But the other side, the side that you're talking about, they don't try to improve you. They try to tell you that you can look at a man and say, that is a woman. <laughs> Fucking now I'm, I'm getting more into that stuff. No, we're doing it, dude. Fuck it. Look, dude. I, I, but I know that you, you, Brad, you, you kind of get this middle. You're like everything is bad, and then, yeah, that, and, yeah, then you, yeah, and then yeah, you yeah. get, and then you get these people in here like, yeah, going to the gym is bad for you. You get them to sit in this couch because you, you kind of don't really pick a side. But if we're gonna be honest, like there's, there's a side that's spreading truth and that's trying to save the world, and there's another side that's. But just I guess spreading my question. Garbage. I, I, I agree. A lot of garbage somewhere, but also not all. That's my. That's the thing because I watch a lot of it. And there are some good things. There are things that are good. And I can understand why some people from other perspectives be like, this is this and this is that. I do understand both sides. But now there are certain things I draw hard lines on where I'm like, okay, like, I think this has gotten to this point where, like, if we're talking about the transgender stuff, it's like, you, you can't just fucking make someone believe what you believe. Yeah. Period. Like, that's, I don't give a fuck if it's that conversation or that topic or it's like anything like since when along like human history was it just like in all cases i try and think when someone forced you to believe just what they believed it was a complete catastrophe right brad <laughs> what is one thing that the blue pill side Stop. the liberals what is one thing that they promote that's positive you have them sit down here they go, yeah jim sucks i'm a communist huh? what are, what are these people can you name me one thing that they do that's good for humanity I, I think, I think at the core, their goal is that like acceptance of people. I think that's the core. If I'm being really honest, that's the core. Now, acceptance of people, then why do they say that other people like misogynist, Nazi, you should trafficker all this. If they were accepting, then why do they alienate so many? You're okay, like, okay, you're okay. racist because you're white. You're a gym okay, bro. Uh, listen, you're that's a bullshit, toxic yeah. man. Like, yeah. They're not I accepting at all. Okay, so, dude, Nazis, like, there's certain things you go, okay, that's a clear, like, okay, not the greatest thing because of what it comes with. No, 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 I'm not saying, not that, I'm, I'm saying that, like, they will call you a toxic man just because you go to the gym and you're white. Until they talk to me and get to know me. Until then, but if you're going to say that they're accepting of everybody, they're immediately, you know how many people will discredit you just because of what you look like? Oh, yeah. Of but those people? Yeah, but that's life. I but, accept that. I get discredited even before we have these conversations about certain, oh, this guy is this because he looks like that. That's just that. That's how people are. I'm not saying it's okay. I'm not even talking about this being okay. It's just, I just don't like when it's like, yo, you have to believe what I believe or you're just insensitive or you're this or you're that. I think that's fucking insane. Yeah, I think it's one so, of the so crazy They're not accepting things. because they say that if you don't believe it, if you don't say that that ugly man is a woman, then you're not accepting. Then you're a bad person if you don't accept how ugly this man woman is. You get what I'm saying? I see. So I understand. I, I understand. That's kind of the, the lie that they promote. Like they're trying to be accepting of everyone. They're, they're really not. They're some of the most divisive, angry people of all time. They, they don't, they're not inclusive whatsoever. They, they lie about being inclusive. And also they say that, the, that it's about acceptance. And they, at the White House, they have, it's covered in pride flags. Like you're, these guys are not minorities anymore. They're not like we need to accept these people. The president is there with trainees on the lawn. The pride flags yeah, are put in crazy. schools. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like we need to give these people a voice. They are the voice. The White House has rainbows on it. It's over. They won. It's not yeah. like they're a minority anymore. So it, one more time, these people that sit down on this couch that you have on this podcast, these liars, these communists who come in here and destroy freedom. Oh, dude, they're going <laughs> to love just, this, They're just They're just liars. Like they they I, are professional grifters. They pretend like, oh, yeah, I care dude, about it. Okay, let me ask you a question. Do you think 100% they're liars? Like everything they say is bullshit. Cause I've had conversations that I'm like, okay, this is not bullshit. Well, okay. But I'm asking what's one thing they say that's good, bro. I do think it is important to yes, accept people. I do think that's something that they try to do now. Do they do it always in the right way? No, of course not. They didn't accept me in the right way. They weren't listening to what I, no one, no one, they were like, this guy's a fucking idiot. He did this thing. It's dumb. Right? So yeah, but that's like, that's also now we're just talking about internet culture versus like an ideology of a person, right? Like two completely different things. Like, I also know, and we also know how this whole internet works where it's like, okay, I could talk about this thing the person said because it's going to get clicks and views and engagement. And it's, it's a part of this divisive nature. Like I said, I'm not above this. I'm not sitting here saying I'm above this whole like bullshit spinning the wheel. I'm a part of it. I'm just saying like, uh, for me, I'm like really trying to like, I really want to slow it down a little bit. <laughs> I want to like be like, yo, can we just, I'd love to have a conversation with all you guys in the same room. <laughs> I feel like I could change if I had like Hassan, Ethan, you, um who else uh 
Tate would be really hard out. He would just overpower the whole fucking conversation. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the fucking the destiny guy. I want to talk to that guy too. have everyone in a room and just be like, and either I'd figure it out or I would just bully everyone into figuring it out. I, uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's, just- do you think, do you think a pod like, or a conversation like that could ever happen? Cause I know you guys do like the, you do the live stream, like link ups where like everyone jumps on the live Yeah. and you guys all like fucking essentially argue which is hilarious mm. and come to like no fucking conclusions. Uh, do you think like that could happen and like actually work out? I just think it's just a human nature thing. Just, just people just want to disagree with each other. Yeah. There's, there's problems. Like for, I had a, a live stream last night. I set up a, a Muslim and an atheist and they started debating Ryan Dawson and Sheikh Uthman and uh, Ryan got really upset with me. I really look up to him, but like when you said a lot of these panels, there's so many egos at play and so much at stake and their whole reputation and everything like that. I don't, that, that conversation will probably never happen. There's just been so many lies purported. Like at some point it's not even, it's just like a man to man thing. Like when you're, uh, saying when you're trying to get some, someone jailed for accusations that aren't yeah. true, it's like it's like you, we're not going to sit down and chit chat on Discord at this point. You're talking about the Tate thing, yeah, yeah, I understand. Um, so what what happened with this? What happened this months ago? What happened with this penguin guy, Charlie, this most critical guy? I mean, uh, what happened? That you hate that guy? I mean, it's just you know, he's just like a little gamer dude, you know? Yeah, it's you okay. Gotta, you saw his physique though. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. When he, I was watching this video, he like put his physique in there. I was like, that shit's funny. Yeah. I mean, I mean nah, but he looked decent. He looked like he trains. Okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just like seeing your reaction. All right, bro. No, he does though. <laughs> yeah. He had a bigger chest than you. Okay. Does he? Bro, he did. Okay. Let's stand next to each other. So I know see, you're see taller, you're bro. Okay. I know you're taller. All right, man. Yeah. Yeah. What, what about, I mean, I, I think he's starting to get on the right path. I think he's starting to see that what side is good and what side is bad. Like, for example, I really like the fact that he defended iDubbbz. Uh, you know, iDubbbz was like an OG YouTuber. He yeah. basically went to, he switched sides. He was there like being funny, um, speaking the truth, making racist jokes, making sexist jokes. And then he completely switched, got married to an OnlyFans girl, became woke, started like crying and stuff. And then he apologizes that I retract all these statements. I was wrong for this. And then everybody who's like funny, and I got to like, Moist Critical is pretty funny. And he's like, why should it, he have to apologize? Super dry. I like it. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. a little, it's a little low energy, but I understand like he is, uh, whatever. Yeah. He defends iDubbbz and says like, he shouldn't have to apologize. And then all the cancel culture, they come after him. They're like, well, he's as a minority, these racist jokes lost me my job. This is the reason I'm sad is well, iDubbbz in 2016. Like at some point. There's just one side that's telling the truth and one side that's telling lies. And I think that, like, he, uh, Moist Critical is an example of somebody who's starting to realize the agenda. And yeah. they're, they're trying to shut everybody up. And look, I, 10 years ago, we didn't think that we're going to be where we're at now, but we are here. I mean, the, they're, they're chanting in the park. We're here. We're queer. We're coming for your children. You I saw, saw that? that. Yeah. What, what is that? Is that? Was that a real clip, though? Yeah. Yeah. Like, why would, those, those people that you're talking about, like the Ethan Kleins and the, the Hassans, they, that's the America that they want. They want the West to be like, we're, they're, they're, you think they're going to condemn that video? No. I'm here saying those people should be burned at the stake. If you're going to be like in a park saying, I'm queer, I'm going to go take your kids and make them queer, that means you're going to molest the kids or brainwash them to become gay. These so, people need to be put in jail. But the, like, that's, the, that's how far it's getting. Where not, not only do you have to be accepting, but they need to turn your kids gay in order for them to get their way. But it's okay. So I, I saw this clip. I, obviously, I don't have the context. So is there... there like, it's pride. If that's is the context. Pride Parade. We're here. We're queer. We're coming for your children. Well, I don't understand that. It sounds like a parody, right? It sounds like a mockery, like a South Park mockery of gay people. They're saying, we're here. We're queer. We're coming for your children. There's no... Con- that's the context. That's the context. That's the context. Pride Parade. They have their titties out. So, so they want to make your kids So gay. when this happens, like... like you, you're saying like the other the other side of people they just like don't talk about it. They're not gonna because it it, de- it debunks their entire ideology. If they would get on a podcast, if they would get on the stream and say this is disgusting and we all need to get rocks and throw them at these adults, these creepy, we- ugly weirdos. If they would say that, then I'd be like, okay, now you care about truth. They see that so, video and they're like, how do I defend this in a way that doesn't get me canceled? That's their thought process. It's it's so it's, it's how could you lie. defend that? Try to play the other side. <laughs> Well, they actually mean that kids should be able to access queer behavior if they want to. Access queer behavior. Something like that. (laughs) Bro. They're going to defend it because they cannot go back on it. If they ever said anything negative about that, their entire fan base would flip. 
It's, do you condemn that? Should we go throw no, stones? No, that's at, fucking terrible. So we dude. should throw stones at them. Bro, why would why would you say that? Like, why would anyone say we're here, we're queer, we're coming for your kids? That's it's, like the weird. Like, may, if they want it to mean something else, then fucking say you know something why? else. Because the the purpose, the reason that we exist, the reason that God created all of us is so that we can have children, right? That's why you want to have a wife. That's why like Adam twenty two wants to have kids because we are supposed to have children. We're supposed to reproduce. LGBT cannot reproduce. They can't because they have weird, demonic, whatever. They're doing this with weird stuff. But we all want to reproduce. It's all an, ur an urge that all of us have. So they reproduce by touching a kid. Now that kid's gay. Now he's one of us. Oh, bro, it, Nets it, brainwashed the kid with the pride flag. Now they reproduce. They bring him. Uh, now, here's the thing that's fucked. Here's the thing that's fucked. That's I, how they get. That's the reproduction system Twitter, is I'll grabbing see, kids. I'll see. I don't know about that's that. That's it. <laughs> like, that's why they're in the park chanting this nonsense. Isn't it just the end of it, not the beginning part of it? The, like, Because like the regular, if we talk about like gay and fucking straight and like you're talking about lesbian, gay, bisexual, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. This, all this other shit is different, bro. It's new. Like, mm. there have been gay people forever, which is like, you know, they've been working on getting their fucking, like, fair sort of treatment. Now it's like, now this is going to some different degree of shit. So we should have stuck to the Quran and said, absolutely not. Marriage is between a man and a woman. Don't do that. So you think if someone's gay, they're just wrong? Because listen, because listen, I, nope, ask you I, don't, I don't think anyone is. Because the kid shit, I 100% don't go, think anyone's fuck born, that. I don't think anyone's born gay. I mean, I, I can let people could sure they they will do what they want to do. Do I think it's right? No. Do you want your son to be gay? No, you don't. I I know the answer is no, but you're gonna be right now like yeah. Whoa, blah, nah, bro. Like, like I I you know you know <laughs> I know I I would love for him to be like fucking me like a dude normal but a dude me but I don't give a fuck. If he was gay, listen. Say normal. But if he said if he said he wanted to like chop his dick off, I'd be like, hold on, dude. No. Like just wait it out. Wait it out. Wait it out. See how you really feel. Like because. Deep down, you want to have a norm. I'm tired of us using these words like cis and all this stuff. Just say normal. I ne First of all, I've never used that word in my life. Cis? I've never used that word ever, right. ever, period. But you, you, would want, you don't want your son to be gay because you know that it's deviant. You know that it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't, I, like, there's a whole month we're celebrating men putting their penises in men's buttholes. Okay, like, it, you know how weird it is? That's, 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 that's what Pride okay. Month is. Bro, but I'm I, proud to okay. put a penis in a Hold man's on. butt. What the, why are we celebrating this Bro. for a month? Bro. Why celebrate family for a Bro. month? The creation of children, the reason God made us, the I highest mean, form of human achievement. I, Instead, I, there's a month celebration for okay. poopy dick. Okay, relax. poopy dick, Brad. Relax, relax, dude. Dude, I think. Look at I listen. That's what what's going on. Like, I, it's it's a middle ground. It got, conversation. No, no, no. It's not middle ground. It just got too far. Okay, dude, it got too far. What did I say? That was, too, that was wrong. No, no, not you. No, I'm saying the whole the oh. whole thing just went to, like, dude. I don't think there's anything wrong with gay. I don't, man. I don't. <laughs> It's it's and I think the pride thing that's been around for how long? You know how long? I don't know. I mean, because it's not just a now thing. That's why. So when I hear you talk about it that way, I get it. But at the same time, like it's not just like well, it's been around for a while. But now I, it's getting interesting. Now it's getting point. rainbow flags on the lawn, trannies flapping their titties next to the president. Like it's it's next. Bro, it's it, you can't even like I can't I, even watch TV anymore. I thought that was fake. I can't, it's not. It's 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 unre It's the South Park episode. It, and yeah. we're just talking about it. Oh, I don't know. Look, TV sucks because reality is crazier than anything they could write. This stuff, can you imagine? This is like an episode of The Office. A tranny's flapping his titties on the lawn next to the president. A senile guy with dementia who's 85 <laughs> yeah. touching kids too. They're like, we're both pedophiles. And then they, they, like that, it, it seems like something you would write on a show, but it. What, Twitter is more fascinating because not only is it happening, but it's wilder and more and funnier than anything else. It is. It's insane, dude. We live in a fucking movie. It's very weird. We need to fight against it, Brad. We need to keep telling people <sighs> to go to the gym to get their mind oh, right, bro. to follow God, to do the right thing, to actually be funny, to have good conversations, to be open minded. And to not be a deviant and not find an escape route in blue hair, ugly, flappy, titty nonsense. I listen, man, I Go to the fucking gym. I agree with all that. I agree with all that. Do you think you're always open-minded, though? Yeah. Always. 100%. Even when you say gay is no good, man. Gay can't be good, dude. Just I'm like, listen, the pedophile shit, What good no. does it do? I, dude, I don't... It's just, There you go. I can, every, I can say being straight is good because... Yeah, but does everything, need to, does everything need to be good like that? Everything should be good, ideally. Of course In an ideal be. situation, an ideal world, everything would be good. Simple stuff. So being straight is good because you can have kids and you can start a family and you can create more good people. Yeah. Gay people does not produce anything good. It, like That's just the truth. Like, yes, they... they what, what about a gay family that adopted a bunch of kids and needed a home? That not good? 
Yeah, but that kid's going to grow up weird because it's not going to have the proper family dynamic. It's worse than actually having a, a mother and father. Yeah, uh, of course. I'm not going to say that all gay parents are bad, but it's more likely that a straight family is better than a gay family raising a kid. Ah, uh, just man, in it's all tough, it, man. everybody would agree with that. The nuclear family is the best way to produce a happy child. That's just true. Every single scientist, doctor, philosopher would agree that a nuclear family is the best way to raise a child. Having like two daddies is just. I mean, less... I don't know the stats on this shit at all as far as like families being together, staying together. I think the stats are really terrible with like marriages and all this shit, anyways, because we've yeah. created such a terrible fucking society. But I mean, there is, there is like, I don't know. It's, it's hard to get into that sort of conversation about it. Like, I fully agree this whole like, this whole like, I don't even know where it's gone to this degree of like, yo, this whole kid shit that everyone keeps talking about. You know, like Nick Merckx was like, he said some shit and they said, leave kids alone and they canceled him. Shout yeah. Out to Nick Merckx. <laughs> and yeah. And, and, uh, you know, Ethan, I saw a clip where he was saying that that was like, that's a homophobic state. I want to know why. I want to know why, Ethan, if you're watching this, you're going to have to go after me again on your pod. I want to know why it's a homophobic statement. Doesn't that prove where LGBT is going? No, that's if it's homophobic to say, leave kids alone, what does that say about the LGBT? Well, I just want to know. I, someone's got to tell me. I don't got the answers to this. Way. Because they want to touch kids. I, listen. That's the, the, what do you think the plus is in LGBT? But do you think Ethan wants to touch kids, dude? I don't think so. I think, you, I think no, he's on man. the... You know how Biden sniffs girls? No. I mean... I saw that clip. I don't know the dude. I don't know that it's real. He's is it AI. He, I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not saying he want. I'm saying he gives me sniffy vibes. I don't. I have no idea. But dude, could, could you tell me why? Because I didn't watch the whole clip. I think he tried to explain why it's. Why it's if, if it was revealed that he was in a, at a playground with the hoodie, like, yeah, like Ooh. you, Ethan, Ethan, you'd be like, you know, yeah. No, he wouldn't do that. Guy's podcasting. All if, day long. if it was a feel like Ethan Klein found in a playground with holding a doll, like if, if you see like a CCTV picture, he's looking at the camera like, <sighs> like I'd be I, like, yeah, you yo, know, yo, yeah. Yo, <laughs> yo, at least he's honest now. He's no, dude. Listen, I'm not. We're not going there now. Can you see the picture? Like, but now you're attacking the guy, dude. The, I'm not attacking, I, dude. You I'm, are. I'm just it. I just want to know why that statement is homophobic. Why because they want to touch kids. That's that's what it is. Because they want to get the children. You can't vote till you're 18. You can't drink till you're 21. But you can cut your dick off. And they want to be able to put pride flags in the schools so they can indoctrinate the kids with woke garbage. They want to. It's not about acceptance. It's about converting the whole country into a gay mess. That's what it is. I'm telling you. Look. Well, what, okay. So okay. Let's so realistically. Let's say. Let's say that's exactly what it is. Right. What the fuck is the point? There's no point in that because if we're talking about like. There you go. Whoa, but th there's no point, meaning there's no money in that either in the long run. Like if you took that to the hundredth millionth degree and you just took it, that idea and made it the reality, a hundred percent the reality, then there's no more kids. So then they have no more kids to be fucking weird about. You, you're, you're coming in with, because you believe in God, right? Yes. You're coming in with the perception like people are good. These people. Do, I'm not even saying good. or I'm saying literal fact. If These people don't want good for society. Okay, but listen. If every single person was, we took it out to that, was gay, there's no kids. So, you know what I'm saying? They, they don't, don't think get... that far. Okay, well, I'm thinking, I I'm like, let me take this to the millionth degree. And also, this... part of like the LGBT thing is that they enjoy being deviants. They like disrupting, they like being weird. It's, it's perverted. So, if, if everybody was gay, then they would have nothing. Like, it would just be pointless. They wouldn't take the same satisfaction. They take satisfaction in doing something they're not supposed to do. It's, you know why it's hard having these conversations? Because, like, I can't say this, like, is, like, 100% all of them. Because do you think every single one of them is just, like, oh, I'm a dude and now I'm, now I'm a girl and, like, I want to touch kids. That's not, that's not true, dude. There's no way that's true. You know it's what I'm just, saying? It's just deviant acts. It's, it's doing what... It's doing the opposite of what God intended. That's why a lot of them embrace Satanism. That's why they say, like... Smite. A lot of them will like drop antichrist and, and really embrace anti-religion because it, that's what it, I, I really think it's something that's demonic. And I think a lot of these people are actually possessed. And so they're just doing the opposite of what they are supposed to do. And they take satisfaction in being wrong and being like, this is like a penis and a butt. It's like, it doesn't make any sense. You're, it's poopy. You never done anal? It, no, it, mm -hmm. completely haram. I know you have, ew, bro, haram, man. Really? Haram, haram. Oh, I would never man. go there. Haram. But okay, for a girl, like I understand because like, okay, right. It's, it's right there. It's right across the street. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like, the next door neighbor. I wouldn't go. I, I don't get the put point. Put your thumb in it sometimes maybe. But it's just, it's worse. Like one is wet and so, like has a purpose. This one is just poopy and like anal's, 
two eights. Hold on. Oh, careful how you answer. This. I don't think Anil, Anil's on case. Just like why? Like what do you do? It, it, the reason that okay, here here's how you compare it because Anil's one step to gay. The reason that that like people like you enjoy it is like this is like wrong. Like she poops out of this. Like it doesn't make any sense. Not that's, honestly because it's just like variation. That's it. Very yeah. something that's not right. Not not right. Not right. It's not about me. It's being perversion. Like, it's not being like ooh, this isn't right. It's like I did this for a little bit. Let me try this. And then let me play with this and let's see what happens. And does she like it? There you go. That's I don't think that deep. I'm not like, oh, I can't do this. I'm gonna do this. Like, no, I'm gonna fucking do it. Cause I asked her, like, you wanna do this? If you keep trying different things that God did not intend, that's how you end up flapping your titties next Bro, to the Why Biden you got an asshole lawn. if God didn't intend that? What? Why you got an asshole if God didn't intend that? What are you I'm fucking with you? Bro, I'm <laughs> fucking with you to shit, you idiot. <laughs> I just fell for you it. You dumb man. fucker. You fu Come You're the on. one who has poopy penis, man. Poopy Yo, penis Brad, bro. Not right now, dude. Butthole Brad in this bitch, man. <laughs> fucking gross, Yo, bro. Yo, you had to fire back. <laughs> But you had to fire back. That whole Brad is crazy, bro. You dumb fuck. That was funny, it's disgusting. man. Disgusting. Holy shit. All right, no more anal talk, bro. You're getting me <laughs> fucking you're getting me excited over here. Um, so okay. <laughs> let's let's move on from the woke stuff. Let's man. yeah, let's I, get I, away I from it. Talking who, about trannies nonstop, bro. Who is your who is your like who is like your least favorite uh left person right now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, who do you hate the most? The most is probably like Karl Marx. I would say like person who started Communism. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. I mean on the internet. Uh, on the internet. Karl Marx, dude. This guy's favorite. Fucking... Okay, this is gonna be a clip, right? This is why you asked questions so that you can get the YouTube short where I'm Yeah, like, fuck it, dude. Sneak Oaks for, um I don't know. I, I don't really I don't really hold hate in my heart anymore, man. Wow, that, that I don't was really hold best. hate in my part. Dude, you grew up, man. I'm so fucking I'm proud of you, man. Yeah, nine proud months ago you, you might have got that clip of <laughs> but like even like no moist critical man, I, I think he's a. Uh, I think he is a good person at heart. Um he, bro, how does this guy get so many views on YouTube? It's it's a little low energy, huh? Yeah, like I'm shocked. It's it's the gamer look, people. I like look. I like. I think he has that really dry, sarcastic shit. But I was like, damn, there's a lot so of you. Today it's a good poop on my penis. And bro, I was just shocked. I saw the video about you with like fucking what some million. Like one has ten million. One has like twenty some shit. Hey, for a guy who's been on YouTube, I'm, I'm my and the title is just like Sneeko is horrible. Sneeko's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, this guy's fucking lit, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's 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 honestly sick. That's cool. You're like, you popped that. You made that shit pop. Hey, man, I, I, I got, I've got. i been banned on YouTube for, it's been 10 months now. And you're still on that bitch, yeah, dude, because I looked through the months. clips and your face is everywhere. Almost a year. I've been streaming on Rumble longer than I've been streaming on YouTube. Isn't that, isn't that wild? I, mean, I was on YouTube for 10 years, but I started streaming in June of last year. So it's been more streaming on Rumble than YouTube. So I, I think I've done a, a good job pivoting. But yeah, I think you're right. Where we are shifting in a new era of the internet where people are going to different websites. Like yeah. even if your band, like short form is taken over. Yeah. It's, uh, it's a pretty polarizing time. But I, I think, yeah, you're, you're right. There, there's so much division that there's, there's no point. Like I could say all these names and I could probably clip farm and say like, you know, Ethan Klein's and blah, blah, blah. And his yeah. and, but it's just like, you know, I think that uh, deep down everybody has so, somewhere, some deep down, everybody has good intentions. I, I really believe that everybody yeah. has a good heart, but a lot of people are. Because I just, I'm convinced that people aren't just like, the, the, you know, the guys that are on the side or whatever, they're not waking up being like, I just want to be an asshole and mean to people today. They're, I don't think they're doing that, dude. I also don't think they're like, I'm, I want to be fucking deviant and like divisive. Like, I don't think so. I think genuinely in their hearts, they believe they are doing on, good. Yes. Yes, bro. I really do believe that. Yeah. Because I can sit and have conversations with these guys and like you get energy from someone. It's not like you can't lie about that in real life. And I never got like, oh, this guy's just a shithead. Yeah. I never got that vibe. Huh. I, same. I don't get it from you. I don't get it from them. Right. Bro, I'm serious, man. Mm -hmm. I know you look at me wild right now, but I mean that. Yeah, I can't. I can't. You're just having a heart. Like the, they were. Yeah. These guys are like aliens to me, man. You think so? <sighs> have you ever sat in front of them and had a conversation? No, I mean, uh. I've met, I met KSI a long time ago when I was like 13, 14. Um, and yeah, now he's like, he's, he's all upset about me. He's like fucking sending me paragraphs and stuff. I saw that was a little bit ago. No, no, just recently again. It's just really like, about yeah. what? Uh, cause I just make fun of him because like he just backtracks. So, like he'll say a racial slur and then like have to issue an apology. I just think it's funny that like people like have to read out this stuff cause they said a word and oh. it's just like, if I, if we're over the same place, like well, what is he saying to you then? He's just like coping. <laughs> He's just like in the DMs, like writing me paragraphs. Like, like, why are you saying shit about me? Like, you don't know anything about me. I've done like you're bringing up my past to hold it up against me. Blah blah. He's just, bro. These people like just get so deluded by the internet, man. Yeah, the validation of it all, I think. Because yeah, yeah. I got caught up in like trying to just get more and more and more likes and people like you, and it's like 
I could understand, like, even like I said earlier about my story about not involving my personal life, because I was afraid that if I involved too much of it, that it could create division oh, within yeah. like people about me. There you go. Yeah. yeah. People hold it against you forever. Yeah. They never, they never forget it. No. Never forget, dude. No, we'll no. never forget. Never what forget 9 11. We'll yeah. never forget. That was the 9 11 of my life. I'll never forget that. No. That's my favorite part about you. What? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I think you're so lit for talking about that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually insane to me that you got on the internet and just said it. Yeah, I saw you a couple of weeks. Have you still been training boxing? No, but I've been running every fucking day, bro. I literally, I, I do fucking, I do like two miles and I do like sprints. I've been running every day, which is, which is dope for me because I'm like literally 260 and it's the, it's the most, I, I, for like the last two months, my cardio is insane right now. My cardio got really good too. I quit drinking, quit all the drugs and stuff. Just I have What drugs were you doing? Um, well, you know, I was doing all... Uh, everything, man. <laughs> everything is by heroin and crack and stuff like that. So, okay, there's not, a lot not of a lot. A, there's not a lot of other drugs. Yeah, no, I, 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 I would da like I wasn't really okay. Like you're only, doing ketamine and shit, K special K. I've done K before. Okay, yeah, I, I mean, I did it. I've done the only thing I was really like addicted to, like that was really for a long time, was weed. I was smoking weed every oh. single day. No, no, but I, I was like, I, you know, a little bit of coke, a little you look bit like of K. a pothead, low key. A little bit of Molly stuff like that, you know, party drugs and stuff. Uh, I, I, like just a weekend thing, or are you just like going to an event thing, or just because? You know, like on a weekend or something, or, or you know, for, or a Monday, or a Monday, you know. Really? Oh my it, it was never. It was never a habit. Now they're gonna call me a coach. I was. I was never. Never a habit. But like, just one completely. I don't drink. Like that. That's the biggest one. Drinking too. is garbage, bro. For the most yeah, part, that it's was like, the biggest. My cardio is like. I. I actually like running now, which I thought running was gay for a long time too. Like, what? The, the, <laughs> Why that, did you think it was gay? I, I get every was, bro. I just wish I honestly like, <clears throat> you know, as a gym bro, certified gym bro, you know, very long time, uh, actually president of the gym bros. Um, the problem is. You were so convinced at one point that you just couldn't do it because like you're going to burn too many calories and like you're going to get small. Like that's the mindset. But the thing that I no seriously, <laughs> I know, I know that. the thing that I realized, which is true, is that you won't burn enough calories. In fact, you'll just be healthier. Your heart will be stronger. Your pumps will be better because of that. And it will actually make you more hungry to eat more food if you wanted to just get bigger. Because that was the one thing I always dabble with it. I had like I had like spurts where back in my like cardio is fucking lame phase. I would do cardio just because I was like, I should do some cardio because I haven't done it in a while. And then I like, I realized I eat so much more, but I just wasn't getting that cue of like, oh, this is actually helping me get bigger. The thing that I was trying to get, not in my mind, it's going to make me smaller. You know what I'm saying? At the time, mm -hmm. it actually helps you get bigger. You just have to eat more, which for most people, it's going to make you want to eat more. So yeah, I'm not even, like, I used to be in that, like, I need to be really big all the time. I'm just training, just training. When boxing. was that? I when I was in high happen. school watching Brad videos on YouTube, I was just Were you like, bigger, actually? Yeah, I, I was at one point, like, I looked like a beefy Asian dude. I was like, I had a big face and stuff like that. I was taking creatine. I even, in high school, I wrote this thing on my wall to remember. I'm like, I, I like, take, remember creatine because I was, like, taking the scoops every day, like, putting it directly in a spoon so I could get the anabolic window. Dude. <laughs> I, I was doing all this. I was doing smoothies with the, the raw egg and the protein powder. You were a real then, gym bro then. I was 100% a real gym bro. I just completely gave up. I, I like training uh, fighting because it's just, that seems like a, a, you know, a waste of time. And then you like look it in the mirror like my traps are like, and then you go on a date and you're like, oh yeah, she doesn't even know what a rear delt is. So this is a waste of time. Just because she doesn't know what the rear delt is? But what? she know what that bitch looks like. She knows what it feels like. A rear delt? Yeah. She's like, damn, your shoulders are so nice. And then she has her hand back here. So, you know. You could just chalk it up, but she doesn't know what it is. But does she need to know what it is, or she yeah. just know what it feels like? I know. Then you get to the point where you're like looking, you're like flexing and like do, checking your back, and like then you start looking at bodybuilding competitions, and they're oiling each Next other. Next thing up. you know, you're gay. That's what I'm saying. It's all the path, Holy man. Holy shit! It's just like anal. If you do too much bodybuilding, you end up with a dick and a butt. You don't want to go down that path. Dude, so I, I think training, fighting is better. I highly dude, recommend. Dude, I don't know, man. We can go the same route with the fighting. You rolling around with a dude. You're just well, like rolling intimate. BJJ is. is BJ for men. Like I'd rather just, yeah, just striking. So I'd rather, rather do striking. Oh my god! So you gonna fight anybody? I will see. We'll see. There, there's a couple of people I have in mind. Are they on the left side? No, some of them are actually like on the on the right side. The, the oh, that's guys. dope. Yeah, I, I don't want to say some names yet. Um, to, to keep oh, so it. you're like working on this? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I think that's the next step. To uh, everybody should do it probably. Fight at least once. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody should do it. Like not necessarily on YouTube, but in real life, like everybody should fight. just do it. Like, I think people have this misconception that you need to do it on YouTube or that it needs to be monetized, but it's just something you should 
get into the ring and just like I might might not walk out. Who should I fight? Because I would love to do that. I think you should fight. I think I was gonna say some blue pill people, but like I'm not gonna. You should fight another bodybuilder. You should fight somebody who's on the on the same height and weight that you could respectably do it with. I think Mike Rashid could be a good one, but he's actually like he's, he's a boxer. Yeah, he's a boxer. He actually is a boxer. Who's the other like major gym bro? You should fight Steve. Steve will do it. Yeah. No, dude, that's my boy. I couldn't beat up Steve. I feel bad. Wait, wait, that's that's not fair. He couldn't win. He could not win. No, absolutely not. He him beat me in a fight. <laughs> yeah, no, dude. No, not even no chance. Zero chance. Like negative chance. Okay, who else bodybuilding possibly? <clears throat> I, get, I don't know, dude. I just want to say C bum. Okay. Because he's like the guy. Okay. Uh, the OG. Uh, I mean, I don't know who else. Like, that's the problem. I could fight Hassan. I was going to say that. I think that'd be a good one. Because he's, he's big. Is he? Yeah, he's tall as fuck. Yeah. You, you never met that guy in person, huh? No. Nah. He's bigger than you. He's big, bro. Nah. I think he might beat the shit out of you. Oh, come key. on, man. Come he's on, man. big. Dude. Hey, don't don't put disrespect on my name, man. Sorry. Yo, sorry. You, you, you've been you, dude, he's a big... He's butthole a, brab and talking a lot of yeah, smack today, he's bro. a big dude. Yeah. He's he's one of, Out of all the other creators that I ever met, he's one of the biggest ones. 100%. Mm. Yeah. I'm just saying, man. What did I say? The bigger they are, the harder they fall? Yeah. Some, you say that about me? There you go. Oh, you, you think I'd fall hard? I, I think you'd fall like the Empire State Building. <laughs> That's where the world's curved, motherfucker. I saw Come on, it. Man. I see you smoking cigarettes, too. I saw like your, your gambling. Oh, that was just one. That was, hold on, hold on. Jacob, help me out here. What? Uh, that just was one? just one. One little bogey? I was drunk, dude. You were drunk? I was drunk. You I, just said alcohol is poison. You're out here drinking and smoking dude, cigs? that is the worst. That is actually the most drunk I've been in 10 years. It was with Steve. It was with Steve. He was paying me $400 a shot. He's like, take a shot. I was like, Fuck it. I was, and we were gambling. We were playing uh, um, blackjack. So I was just like, fuck it. And then I just was like, too, too many shots too deep. And he had, I think he got the cigarettes because he's like the avid smoker, like randomly, like, right? Yeah. Not really an avid smoker, but he'll randomly start smoking. I was like, fuck it. Cause I had been smoking tobacco, not cigarettes. And so I was like, okay, I could probably do this. Yeah. And then I'd smoke like what, two, one or two? Yeah, but not not highly don't recommend. You see, you it. were defending gambling earlier in the pod, and look at that—you start doing one degenerate thing, and then you get really drunk, and then you're smoking cigarettes. It's just yeah. uh, it's just a cycle, vicious cycle. Next thing you knew, I was gay, dude. And then you're a butthole brat, bro. <laughs> just gambling, dude, smoking shit. cigarettes, and fucking none of the. Oh butt. man, I missed you, man. Yeah, I missed thing. you, dude. So, well, like you now you're now you're trying to take your shit to a different level. Obviously, we talked about you have a guy now. Yeah. You had editors before. <clears throat> Do you think like Rumble is going to continue to grow to be like a real competitor to YouTube? Because YouTube is. is not a real. No, YouTube is fucking. Come on. I'm not trying to disrespect you, but like, and I'm also not trying to disrespect Rumble, but YouTube is like, it's it's goddamn video search for the world. Yeah. Yeah. I take a lot of pictures with people and I'm like, yo, do you, do you watch Rumble? And they're like, no. But there are people come up to me like, I used to watch your streams. Like, why don't you watch them now? Because you got banned. Why don't you just, you can't go to a different website. There's so yeah. many people, but Rumble, I think is a, is a strong competitor. I think that they're, I think YouTube's threatened. That they're starting to, to cope a little bit. And especially with the more censorship, like do you see, they're taking out on all these RFK debates on all these RFK interviews because he's saying things that you can't say about certain shots. So the more that happens, the more people start waking up. I think the more they're going to seek it out. Obviously they, they won't win the, the search engine because Google owns YouTube. Yeah. And they, they hide everything. You can't find a video on Google. If you search it, it's always going to be YouTube. They will never prioritize Rumble. But it's, it's becoming a real competitor. Rumble is even hosting the Republican primary debates. You know that? All the, that. the Republican debates are going to be on Rumble. So It's interesting. Yeah, I think it's a good I, future for it. I, I do think for sure, like, obviously, I think there is a good future for it because there, like, this, this whole censorship thing, like, it is a real problem. Like genuinely a real problem. And overall, like no matter what side you're on, this in its core, it's just a weird fucking. And thing. there's only one side. My side is able to engage in conversations and debate. On the other side, for example, that guy Peter Hotez, who was, uh, do you, did you see this? Yeah, the the Joe Rogan. Peter thing. Hotez was uh, saying all this stuff like you're a conspiracy theorist, RFK's bad, Joe Rogan's bad, and then Joe Rogan says, "Why don't you just come and 
Come. sit and have a conversation and he refuses he just like posts all these mainstream media articles he has all of mainstream media on his side saying don't take the debate and he still looks stupid like everybody knows that he's running but i'm telling you this is proof again that there's one side that promotes lies because if, if you're gonna go and say that you can't fly if you don't take this you can't go to school can't go to restaurants and then they won't even yeah. engage in a conversation that challenges their viewpoint that's how you know you're a liar if, if you are that afraid of a conversation then something is going to be exposed that you can't say yeah, I mean, it does. Honestly, it does come down to that. It's like if we're saying because I know it was like what the Hotez guy, the science guy. It's like if you have this thing backed by science, then like, wouldn't you just stand up and say, no, here's the data. It'd be that, it would be that easy. But right. That's what I'm saying. That's why. It's, so it's just it is interesting because you're like, I see that. And then, you know, and then I see it's just like an attack. OK, then the attack is just on Joe Rogan because Joe Rogan is this guy and he thinks this and he does this. So, of course, Joe Rogan wants, to, you know, it's saying so it's like. It's just a weird way it's always spun and other than like like we we're saying right now it's like all right because I, I i responded to this too and i was like just have the conversation if you're right right like you would just do that if you knew that this is what it was and you were a definite <clears throat> and you were confident in it you'd go here's the data here's the science whatever take it for what it is but to, to avoid that conversation as a whole when there's questions that are going to start poking like poking holes in the whole thing you're like what then what and then i i don't understand how the the people who are agreeing with you know the 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 doctor guy are just like they're just fucking assholes they're just dumb like i don't understand if you, you are dumb then it would be so easy to win in a debate right no that's that's the thing i don't get though is like the, not even necessarily him as being dumb or, or no no no. If they're saying joe joe rogan or rfk they're so stupid they're conspiracy theorists they're stupid if they were stupid then the doctors would be able to completely demolish them in a debate. Yeah, and then the, uh, the argument just goes to like, well, it's just not even worth, it's not worth it because they're so like, it's like. It very clearly is worth it. So many people's lives are at stake. Well, also too, it's also the biggest platform that that conversation could ever be had on where it's like, if it's so valuable and the information is so like important and real and based in truth, then wouldn't you want to be on the biggest platform in the world to say, here's the truth. That's another reason that they won't do it is they feel threatened by platforms like Joe Rogan and like podcasts because they've, completely surpassed mainstream media. Mainstream media used to be able to control the narrative, but they've lied so much in the past few years that nobody trusts them anymore. Nobody goes to mainstream media to look for news. They go to Twitter and they go to reliable sources. They go to people that they trust, individuals. And so they don't even want, they don't want to grow that platform even more. That's a big part of the shift. But you're, again, if we talk about like the certain sides, of which, right, which one's right and which one's wrong, mainstream media is all on that left side. Mainstream media is on the trans side, is on the I'm not going to engage in debate, is in you need to go and jab your kids with something that we can't even prove is good for you. If they are all spreading this lie and they have complete control over media, if they have control over the White House, the agenda, and over the narrative, then one side must be right and one side must be wrong. I'm just saying like Joe Rogan and RFK... Th Yeah, bro. I mean, listen, look, look, I saw it. They it's going to it's going to it's going to be exposed more as time as time comes on. I agree. It, it's not even like you keep saying that there's one side and that there's another side and there's all this bickering. One side has to be right. One side has to be telling the truth. But in it. it so I got to ask this question in its entirety. No. You know what I'm saying? Like there's outliers in all of this. That's like there, I'm sure there are things here that are right. There are things here that are right. And there is a, there is some sort of like blend with it. And I even think the guy running, we're talking to the, the, the RFK guy, I think he's like, he's actually interested in finding that. And like from the stuff that I've read or seen about him, like he's trying to find that. Um, Cause it's not, it, this in entirety is just like hundred percent right or hundred percent wrong. There's no way, right? There is a, there is a blend. And like, I, obviously we can't say exactly where that line is, but there, there, def, there definitely is a blend. You know, it's not and like even, even if like me and RFK or Joe Rogan or anybody like who wants to engage in those conversations, even if we don't agree on everything, I think it, it separates between people who have good intentions and people who have an agenda that they monetize. I think that's what separates it is people who are who have greed in their heart and people who have good in their heart. And I, I think a lot of the people on the other side have greed in their heart and they have their own agenda. They have something that they want to push. They have a way that they think the world should be based on not things that are based on good intentions, but based off of selfish reasons, narcissistic reasons and greed and money and lies. But you don't think we all do that to a degree? I think that if me or you were doing that, we would call each other out because that's the, the point of having camaraderie and having men around you who could check you because you, you can be checked and you could be 
I, I would tell you if you're doing something wrong when you're being uh, poopy penis Brad. I would be like, bro, that's wrong. <laughs> Like, you know, when, when I come on and like, I say like, uh, if I say some, some, some cuck shit, you're going to be like, bro, that's, you're being a cuck. Stop. And then I'm like, yeah, you're right. I'm actually going to improve and not do that anymore. Yeah. But the side that takes the moral high ground and avoids having a conversation. And that's stuck, the thing. And can't even admit that it's wrong. Even though they all are looking at what's happening to children, they see it and they know it's wrong. And the fact that they were choosing their platform over telling the truth, there's one side that's right. And one side that's wrong. Yeah. I see what you're saying. It's just like, yeah, but like so when we see, you can't just leave it like that, right? Because I do think there are there there's good in both. But you're right. I, I do think at its core, if you cannot have conversations about certain things, like if you're just completely trying to avoid things, it's like there is definitely something wrong there. And no matter what that side, what what where where it comes from, that's a truth. Like if I'm trying to avoid something, like or I'm trying to lie to you about something, like we were talking about earlier about like the relationships. If I'm trying to like avoid some sort of you know, point that is like a pain point that needs to be addressed, then something's wrong. Like just like in our lives, if we don't address the things that we know are wrong and we just avoid them and we just cover it up and we keep going, that like pain point is just going to continue to find itself unravel in the rest of your life. Like that's a truth. That's an individual human truth. It's not about left. It's not about right. That's a literal truth. And that truth is the same for these sort of things. It's like, if we can't talk about this and it's just like, you can't say that because I believe this, that's a fucking problem. That is the core, the base in all this that is just extremely fucking out of whack right now. It's that thing. Well, open dialogue and open conversation usually fixes that because the truth always prevails in an environment where you can speak to each other. It prevails. But one side says that it's misinformation and that this is homophobic or anti-Semitic or racist. And then they shut you out and they shut out a side not with conversation, not by proving themselves right, but by avoiding having the conversation in the first place. Happened to me. Like, yeah. it, it, they, they, there's, they're liars, Brad. They're liars, Brad. I'm telling you, bro. It's, it's, it's not, I understand your, I think this is a, this is a good conversation to, to sum that up. Like, I understand you seeing the divide and people who are, are actively trying to seek the truth, they do do too much provoking and too much speaking to the disenfranchised when they could be trying to elevate. That's what I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to like do something better with my platform. I was just in, in San Diego for two days, like giving dawah. I was like in the park in San Diego, like trying to like telling people about the Quran and I'm telling people about God and like in a library with a sheikh who's like reading all these, I was on stream just like going over an Islamic library because like I have a platform. What's the best thing that I could do? Like, yeah, I could have Zerka on and we make jokes and stuff like that. Or like I'll go on Omegle or whatever. Yeah. But the, the best thing that you could do with your platform is try to, to inspire people and elevate people. And so you can, gra you can garner attention through making jokes and being funny and doing retarded stuff. But then at some point, there needs to be like some elevation. There needs to be, you need to challenge your viewpoints. You need to speak to different people and you need to tell people what the best thing uh, that they could do is, is follow God. I, I, th I think we're genuinely in a point right now in the West specifically. This is how I found Islam, is seeing all the garbage that's happening here, what they're doing to the children, how brainwashed people are, their health is at, like, RFK and Joe Rogan are jacked, man. Like, RFK is like, is like 70 years old, Joe Rogan's in his late, and he, he's in shape. Peter Hotez and Bill Gates, people who are saying that we know about health, they're fat as fuck. And they're saying that we know about yeah. health. It doesn't make- I see the memes too. It, it's basic physiognomy. Like, it, like, it doesn't make sense to follow that. So, yeah, man, there's, there's good things you can do with your platform and, and there's bad things. Yeah. I think it's that simple. Um, damn, do you, so do you think like, I don't know, it's like, does one side, does the, uh, does one side eventually go like, okay, you got us. No, you never, know? never, never, yeah. never. Yeah. It just never and I'm happens. not even saying that Islam is the only answer, but it's just, it, it, it's the only solution that I see to all the problems. It fixes all the problems that we have when it comes to feminism, independence, making money, um, being open-minded, all these, it, like Islam is, is the one thing that that fights all of the woke garbage it fights it you don't think it has some things that are just like some of it's like i understand why you could say it's not open-minded because it's set in stone about like perversion or about um you know like the gender roles for example <clears throat> but we we do have specific roles and we we are designed in a certain way for a reason yeah i understand that i've definitely gotten a lot closer to god personally what is your religion christian christian yeah. do you go, how, do you go to, i grew up i grew up i went to a catholic school and i did not like that not at all. I didn't like that version of, of this God. It's like not so much God, but I guess the 
the way you had to show up and like I, I just remember being a kid and being in like Catholic school and like you had to like kneel and shit and then like they you had to give money and you know I was like this is weird what like who is this for <laughs> yeah they have a basket I like, just felt weird I was like who's getting this money and then you grow up and you start learning like they don't pay taxes. they don't pay taxes yeah I'm like <laughs> I'm paying taxes yeah, yeah. these motherfuckers have been it's and like, they who? want money from me you know they don't you know where they don't have a, a giving basket in the mosque. I, I hear what you're saying. I understand that, but why? Why, why does that? Why is that changing your personal life? Because before I, I was filled with rage because it, it was confusion. Like things, it, it, I was angry that I was lied to, and I didn't know the reasons for everything that was around us. I didn't have an, a solution to the problem. And there's so many problems right now. People are confused. People are divided. People don't know what's going on. And it, I think it's genuinely because people have lost the book and not even that, like sometimes there's other faiths and there's other ideology that people could replace Islam with that are good, that are better than what's happening now. But people are naturally always going to gravitate towards some belief system and people have replaced it with wokeism. The, the pride flag has become the cross for a lot of people. The pride, um, those chants and stuff like that, that's become church. Like drag queen story hour, that's their church. That's what they believe. That's what they worship. They worship gayness. They Is worship that, LGBT. Do you, do you think that's really a large group of people though? That's so many people. It, it's, it's all over. It, it's, if the, now the president's doing it, think about how many people not only now believe in that, but are going to be converted into that. All the kids that walk into kindergarten and see the pride flag and see all this perversion that they're promoting, how many of those kids are now going to start embracing that? I have a story. I, when I was a kid, my little cousin went to this conference for like woke stuff for inclu this inclusion conference. He came back and we're sitting at the dinner table and he says, he tells his mom, I'm pansexual. And mom's like, are you gay? Like, what do you mean? Like, no, I, I believe in like, I, I can be attracted to everything. It's like, what is that? Like, do you like men? Like, no, I just, I'm accepting of everything. He, he was saying like, he really believed he was pansexual because he spent three days at this conference and they fed him all these lies. They kept telling him all this stuff about how to be inclusive, how to be good, how to be woke. And he's like, yeah. And they think that they're being accepting, but like, this guy's not pansexual. He's a regular guy. And now he starts talking about, he's like 12. That's a true story. Yeah, sure, 100% true story. And if you go to school now, like it's changed a lot since we were in school. These, all, the, all the schools in America, all the American public schools are getting filled with this stuff. Like even sex ed classes, they're telling you like, so the homework is like go home and masturbate and then come and tell us your experience the next day. Yeah, it's, you know why it's so weird? Cause like, I understand the other side of like, it's the, the acceptance side of like, there is a point where, and there are kids that are going to grow up and they, they're going to be gay or they're going to be whatever. Right. And I do understand. I think their reason is that, Oh, like if we, I, I, the reason is like, if we talk about this and make this okay, then like they'll feel better about themselves. Like, I think this is what I'm thinking when they realize that this kid, you know, this kid's like, Oh, I'm gay, but it's accepted. It's okay. I understand that sentiment. I understand that, that idea of like, excuse me, sentiment. I understand the sentiment of like, this is why I think that's why they're like trying to defend this, like, um, like uh, teaching to children. But that's crazy to me because like, what about all the other kids that are just like, just figuring their fucking lives out that are like not at all along those lines or anywhere near those lines. Right. Then kids by nature when they're like, even humans by nature, if I spent fucking three weeks around you all the time every day and it was just me, you, and like some other guy, we kind of start to become similar, mm -hmm. right? So if like, we're now in a situation where, you know, we're talking about kids who are even more like, uh, uh, what's the word? What's the fuck? Impressionable. Mm -hmm. Even more impressionable. Yeah, kids are confused and they're going to gravitate towards that. Yeah. Well, when you're going just, through puberty, it's the most confusing time of your life. But do, you, but do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I think their reason is we want to accept these people for who they are, right? But is that the right way to do it where it's like, okay, let's like infiltrate schools and talk to kids who have never even thought about this, about this? Yeah, but I think at some point, like you shouldn't accept people for who they are. Like there, there's some things, I understand why people empathize with, the, with that. But for example, do you think you should empathize with cannibals? People who eat you other eat people. people. No, yeah, I know. No, I know they cannibals. Just put your foot down, this is disgusting. What about incest? Like guys, no, fuck no. There you go. So why do why do we say that that's disgusting? Because there's nothing. But do you think do you technically think like incest isn't like if they're if they're both adults? Technically, it's not hurting anybody. But we both know it's disgusting and it shouldn't be allowed, right? So why do we say that that's bad, but gay is fine? 
there's some things like there's some perversion acts even though it doesn't harm anybody technically even though if like you know a person dies you, you can eat their body technically the, the guy's dead it's not gonna hurt anybody but we know that that's wrong there's some things we just shouldn't accept you think gay is one of those things yeah really i mean they're gonna they're gonna always do it and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna say i'm not gonna you know i'm not homophobic but i would what never you just said it was very homophobic what did i say you think gay is wrong that's the definition of homophobia no the definition of homophobia is being scared of gay people i don't wake up oh gays like it yeah but like it doesn't scare me it's just i think i think it's wrong is like, that the definition can someone google that that's what phobia means yeah the fear, arachnophobia like, is the fear of spiders if i saw a spider and i was arachnophobic i'd be oh spiders i don't go gays i just look at them like yeah it's, it's not even prejudice well, it's not even that Thank you so much, Jacob. I appreciate that. It is, it's exactly that. You're saying, and I, I'm not trying to fucking grill you right now, but saying gay is wrong is a dislike. Well, it is okay. wrong. There's no... Okay. Th See, I, the, okay, but here's why it's wrong. The point of sex is reproduction. Putting a penis in a butt does not produce anything, so that's the wrong way to have sex. We were designed to have sex to have kids. So when they're doing this weird stuff and when they're grabbing like whatever and they're changing their body parts, that is the wrong way to do it. You I'm not talking changing, about changing. I'm not talking about none of that shit. Okay, God did not create our body parts to put pe like a man's penis in a man's butt. There's no, that is the wrong way to have sex. By design, that's the wrong way to do it. You're not doing it right. It's the wrong hole. God's like, no, no, poop goes there. Why are you doing that? Like, he's like, what the, why would you do that? I hear what this you're saying. Poop. I hear what you're saying. Poopy Brad. I hear what you're saying. I hear you. I hear you. But do you think that is the worst thing? Do you think it's so terrible? I don't think it's the worst thing ever. Okay. That's I think incest point. is worse. I think cannibalism is even grosser. Yeah. And so is the pedophilia shit. That's terrible. Yeah, that's, 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 so, that's the, the worst, worst thing in the world. That's like, the worst you, you thing. Should, those people should be fucking murdered. But the question though is like, I think their idea is that like they want to make these kids who would, who would later be there. It's okay. Right. But the way that they're like, cause that's what I'm trying to understand when I talk about this, leave the kids alone thing, which I agree with. It's like, there's nothing wrong with that idea. Tweet it right now. What, leave the kids alone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tweet it? You want me to tweet it? I want you to... They're going to go crazy that's, on me. That's a banger tweet right now. It's, it's but the thing is like, okay. It is, huh? That's pretty funny. Where's my phone? It's right by your foot. Okay. Um, the thing that's... The thing that's I'm going to put it in quotes and put sneak up. No, 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 <laughs> no. No yeah. accountability. Um, no, the, the thing like that... Okay, that's the problem. The problem is like... This... This... It just feels like it's just done really weird now. It's like... People are just, they want to, I don't understand trying to, okay, like just let someone grow up and make their choice. Yeah. That's, I do believe that. Sure. Makes and you, you, you are Muslim, man. You believe in one God, man. It, that's all it is. That's really all it is. And if you look for the one book that talks about that and stood the test of time since its creation, it's Islam. Only, it's the only monotheistic, only one God religion. See what you, I, I thought Christians, I thought that was, you just believe in God. And Jesus too. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, but Jesus is like, but they was like, yo, we know he's not really God. Like that's his oh, son. A lot of Christians that's get upset about that. That's his son. Well, he's, he's the God too. Yeah, but that's his, that's like his son, dude. What do you mean? That was his son. How was, he God gave has message. just one son? How does God have a well, son? He, we're all his son, but like he gave. So the, he's a special son? Dude, that was the guy. He came down. He was like, yo, listen, I'm in this tomb. And he fucking came out that bitch and was like. I'm out of here. He floated in the stuff? Gone, dude. Peace. How could a man float? Mary saw him. He's gone. I don't know, dude. The fuck? I'm not a god. I'm just me, man. You're just me. Just me. But you believe in one god. I mean, that's what I thought. We. I thought that's what everyone was like. Yeah, that's god. Are you a Christian? Yeah. yeah? Is Jesus god? I'm not very about Even Christians don't know what they believe in. Christians are like, I don't know. Man. Like, if, I believe in god. Straight up. That's what I believe in, man. I, I'm not like, I, when I pray, I'm not like God, also Jesus. Um, I just talk to, I talk to God. There's nothing wrong with that. That There's nothing, that, that's the right way to do it. So I'm actually really curious now. All these, all those details, all those other details. Is that really, are, like, because I'm not as versed on it. Because, like, obviously I haven't been so in depth in, like, this, like, religion of itself, right? Like, I haven't. I'm not like, and I told you earlier, I'm not just like, I'm all in on this religion and I'm like reading this. And, but I just, I understand there's God mm -hmm. and I understand my connection with God. Mm -hmm. So my question is like, you know, all this, like 
you know, Islam and God and all the Christianity is like, is it all really this complicated? What's complicated Just, about it? Like how you're talking about like, you know, Jesus and this, you think they really care? Like, do you think all these people are like, oh, this really mad? Like if I said that, like, yo, I believe in God. Well, I mean, if you care about finding the truth, like there's something with belief, but I really care about finding the truth. And I think if you put faith in something, it's, it doesn't make sense to just put blind faith to be like, I was raised Christian, so I'm a Christian. Like, I would like to have faith that's based in truth. And the only religion that makes sense, truthfully, is Islam. Okay, when I think of that, it trips me out because then I go like, bro, when's the last time you talked to Allah? Like, straight up, would you see him? Where's he at? You can't see. We, we can't. So how are we, how are we now de deliberating truth to like 100% to truth? It's faith. You can't conceptualize Okay, so is it, it truth or is it faith? That's my question. This is the reason why I had such a hard There's time with religion. There's truth in faith. There's truth in faith. There's truth in faith. So you put faith into something that you know is true. Okay. Okay. I hear what you're saying. I'm trying to be careful. How I say this. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, okay, dude, this is the crazy thing about life. Like what is really, really true then? Like, what is this? This is, this is, what is this? This is, you see this? That was something created by man. Yeah. But yeah. what is it really? Right? Like what all this shit, even right now, just existing. Yeah. It's fucking shit going like this really, really fast. And we see it and it's hitting light. And now it's, it's real because we believe it to be real. So what's really true if we're going down this road of like, because I believe in this, that I have this faith in that, that it's true. So truth is at some point a subjective nature, right? Like you have to see that. So then we can't say my truth is the truth, the only truth because of subjectivity. It's not just what I, I'm not going to believe in something blindly. I understand. I'm not talking about believing in something blindly. Just like I believe this, this is a thing, but this is existing because of the speed at which these atoms are going like this. And if it was like, it's, it's, but it's like not real. It's not really How is there. it not real? It's right there. It's right there. Cause we see it. It's right yeah. there. Cause there's light and you can feel it. Yeah. But like, if that's what I'm trying to tell you is like, it only exists because of the rate at something. So it's like, what's wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing's wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with I that. I don't get what's confusing. I'm talking about full truth, like full truth. What, so, what's false about that couch? Honestly, it's not where I wanted to buy it from. No? Yeah. It's pretty nice. It's decent. It's better than the last couch, that's for sure. Yeah, that black one, I didn't like No, no, there was a white one. It was a white one. It was one. a white one, yeah, and plus it, was, it had liberal juice all over it. I mean, yeah, this is new. Yeah, this, is a, this one's a little different. Um, but like, the, like your, to your truth, your truth is subjective then. Well, it's not your truth. You can't just have yeah, your Yeah, well, own. it's based in faith, your faith. There's the truth. There's your faith. Okay. And you're basing your truth on faith. It's not my truth. It's just the truth of the, the your world. base. Okay. The truth you're basing the truth on your faith. Okay. Exactly. What's wrong with that? It's your faith. It's many other people's faiths too. Yeah. But it's also not everyone's right. Should be. <laughs> Should be. I like it. I like it. I like it. The, the, like the world like would be it. better if everybody believed in like the, the countries with the, th um, we, we looked that up yesterday. The top five countries with the least crime rates, three of them are Islamic countries in the Middle East. Bro, they just have the best laws, dude. Islamic Straight law? Up. They have the best laws. Yeah, man. you've been to Dubai, right? I love Dubai. There's no crime because everybody operates under the truth. <laughs> it's, the, it's the one place that's away from that. You could leave your Rolls Royce in the middle of the street with the keys on top. Nobody's going to take it. I really like that about Dubai. Dude. No one's going to take it, yeah. I love the fact that you can You love Islamic law. What, wouldn't, it be, wouldn't it be great if Islamic law ruled over America? It's never going to happen. This sh like, I, in my opinion, this should be a Christian nation. It was developed as a Christian nation, but there's no pride parades in Qatar. There's no... You know what I find really funny about this whole conversation was like, I remember when, uh, you know, they were doing the whole the Pride Month thing and they're like, they're showing how like over here, the company's like super pride and over there, it's like no pride. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's and like how like, but then like they'll like attack... It's like, oh, you're not, you're not fucking, we're, you're not a part of us. But it's like over here, they're just clearly not. But it's just because it's just a different country. So it's like, where does the, where is the actual loyalty lie? Just in whatever makes them money. Wait, the woke people are trying to make the Middle East gay? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm just saying like the company itself panders to the audience. You know what I'm saying? Like Nike, like Mercedes, yeah. Not, I think it was like I saw like Mercedes and all this stuff is like. In the Middle East, like Mercedes, they don't change. They don't like, they're not putting the, the pride thing. They're not putting the colors. But over here, Mercedes, oh, the yeah. U.S., they put the colors. I just find it interesting how they, yeah, yeah, the yeah. big company just panders to the audience. Yeah. 
where it's just like it's all just about money. <laughs> They're monetizing the fake it's acceptance all, nonsense. That's what I'm saying it's just all about money, man. <laughs> you think all Mercedes cares about, about, <laughs> about trannies? They're, Bro, they're, it's all about money, dude. What the fuck is going on? It's very simple. Greed has taken over faith. Greed is dominating the world right now. That's why the architecture is terrible. That's why people are upset. Do you think at some point it's going to come back around? It has to. Truth always will. Truth always wins at some point. At some point, people are going to become fed up with this. And when they start, like when too many kids, like especially when the OnlyFans generation of women, once they hit the wall and once they hit 35, 36 and they stop having the ability to have children and all these OnlyFans girls are going to be lonely with like $100,000, a couple followers and no kids, that's when shit's really going to hit the fan. And this is new. So this is probably going to be like five to 10 years when a generation of these e-thoughts are going to be like, what now? You, what do they do for the rest of their life? Yo, you know, what's funny, man. I do. That's God. I just find this shit hilarious. Oh man. So, cause I get this, they comment this about me all the time. Cause I'll like, you know, I don't reprimand only only fans at all. Like I'm like, I, in fact, I make content with a bunch of girls who like, you know, they're porn stars. They got only fans, but right. people will talk shit about me. Cause like my kind of like, beliefs are not always aligned with that yeah and i understand that <clears throat> you it's funny too because like you you you're definitely not aligned with like only fans chicks like you're like they're fucking it's wrong right yeah but you go on the podcast or you like use these girls yeah f- for views you're yeah. like me <laughs> it's fun. well i mean i i go on the podcast and i say this is wrong right like you know you're gonna die alone like i'll, I'll tell yeah, them to yeah, their yeah. face like this is I think I use that as an example. I don't do that on my own stream. I'll do that on others. Sometimes I bring them on, but I'm not going to be on there and lie to them. I'm just straight up like this is. You, do you have a girl? Because uh, I saw a girl on Twitter. She looked like she was your girl. I couldn't tell. Nah, it's just. She looked like she loved you, bro. Am I like fucking, am I fucking up asking you that question? Uh, no, nah, I, I mean, mean to... you know what it is, man. Just when you get like me, you'll understand. Man. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a good answer. Hey, man. Hey, man. Bro, I saw, I was like, this chick loves this guy. What the fuck? Man, Weird as shit. There's a lot of them, but they, they got to wait. No, no, time. I only saw one. I didn't see a lot of them. I just oh, saw okay, one, okay, okay. one for sure. You, it's okay though. Um, so, okay. What I want to ask you about this Zerka guy, cause I'm going to interview him. What, what's this guy? What's this guy's deal? He's a Christian. I uh, used to be a Muslim and he seems like he says the most outrageous shit. He's he's so close to the truth, but what I really like about what he talks about is the the truth about our spirit. And you should ask him about you should our really spirit. You uh, you should really try to get into a spiritual conversation with him because I think he's the the closest person I've heard to really making sense about how, because we are spiritual beings. Like we, all of us have a connection. That there's like there's monks that can meditate so hard that they'll start melting the snow. There's some people that are just on a different mental level that other animals cannot even reach because of our connection that, that our soul has to God. And he does a great job of explaining it and explaining how powerful it is and, and how you can, uh, c- if you connect your energy to a higher power, like how, how strong that is as individuals. I know that that might sound crazy right now. No, no, no. But you can really, because there's sometimes where you get into a flow state, for example, like where you're really working and everything is making sense and everything is falling into place and you don't really have to try that hard and everything, and you know exactly what to do, and you get in, into kind of that that trance. That that's a that's something spiritual going on. And he does a great job of explaining how that can happen and how to get to that place. And also on the flip side, how when everything is going wrong and you're upset, or like example, like when you see people at these parades, what they're doing, that's demonic possession. That's that you corrupting your spirit. So if you surround yourself with all these OnlyFans girls, and you surround yourself with all this degeneracy, your soul starts to become corrupted. Your spirit is like a vessel. So what you put in it starts to reflect your reality. So if you put good things into your life and you surround yourself with good things, that's why in Islam, we don't believe in listening to music because music will start to corrupt your mind. I understand when you rap about murder and all this, all these bad things, you'll start to, your mind will reflect what you're listening to. But when you only put good into your heart, your, your reality starts to become on a different level. But when you put degeneracy around you and you're all these people, you start to, your, your spirit is off. You can see it around these OnlyFans girls and you can see it around people who have been corrupted and are always doing drugs and are always thinking negative things that you can look into their eyes and see that there's something off. Do you think though, it's because it, it's not all of them. You know, when you say all, you think all OnlyFans girls are all people who are like, they're just, 
they're just all completely fucked. If they're not like that now, they will be eventually. And the only ones that aren't, it's because they're still getting so much attention from other men. And the reason that their souls aren't corrupted yet is because all the men that are giving them attention are giving away. Those men are giving their souls to the girls. And those men end up becoming sadder. Eventually, they'll become, they'll get out of it. But the girls, once they become less attractive and the wrinkles start to show up on her face and she doesn't get that same reaction from men and she needs to actually show a different side of her personality to get attention, then she's really going to become upset. And there's, her whole life is going to crumble. And that's going to happen to a whole generation of women very soon. Yeah. It's kind of crazy how like it's become um, like the norm. Girls, like it's, I feel like most girls now, they're like, if they're somewhat attractive, they're like, they're not even thinking about other jobs. They're just like, Oh, I can get on OnlyFans and make money. I feel like it's the most common. It's like, you know, years ago when everyone was like, I want to be a YouTuber. I want to be a creator. Now it's like girls are just like, oh, I'm, uh, that's what I'm going to do. I feel like it's so common now. Yeah, the, the, that's the, the biggest lie is that we've equated porn stars to content creators. Like OnlyFans girls, they always have an excuse for what they do. Like, I'm a model. Like, who would you model for? Vogue? No, I just do like, oh, you're, oh, okay, you're OnlyFans. Or like. I'm a content creator. What do you, what content do you create? Oh, I post bikini pictures. Like that's not content creation. They, they think that they're the same as, isn't that the funny thing? You'll be around these girls and they'll be like, oh, let's collab. Like we're not on the same thing. <laughs> yeah. You know, like right, but we're not the same. Like they, and they, they, that's the illusion that we give them, especially in LA around these things. But yeah, why would, why would they work a job or why would they get into a relationship when they can get tons of attention, tons of money immediately when they get to ignore putting in the effort to create a family? Because Having a long-term relationship is work, is effort. Like keeping yourself protected is work. So why, why not just take the easy route? But the result is someone is always suffering from that. Like the, this quick way to, to happiness, cheap dopamine. Like when you gamble and smoke cigarettes, you feel it the next day. But when you go on OnlyFans and a woman sells her body, other men get corrupted and her soul gets Bro, corrupted. did you know that girls, I didn't even know the girls sold this. They sold fucking this something called, what is it called? A JOI, Jacob? Jerk off instructions. They sell. They send videos of them telling some guy to like, yeah, like fucking jerk your dick off. Like that's a real thing. Yeah, and some of these girls will say that they're not actually sex workers; that they're just doing tutorials or they're sex educators. It, it's just, it's all. Like, I was shocked when I heard that one. I was like, what? Jois. Like, who the fuck? Yeah, who the fuck is buying that though? A lot of guys. There's guys watching this right now that have paid for it. I I don't get it. I don't get it because like I'm thinking like. I mean, I guess if you couldn't get it, you couldn't have someone do that for you, but it's still like, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I was just completely, it's a weird sexual thing to me. It's just super weird. All of it's weird. And it's not even worth dating. Another thing that Islam got right, dating is just a waste of time. You're just supposed to have an arranged marriage. You know, the, the father will find, <laughs> Yo, the father will find, the father will find like a, a suitable husband for his daughter and then they'll meet. Like the daughter, the girl's not even really supposed to talk to guys that aren't her, her father or her brothers. But the dad and the older brother will speak to guys and be like, okay, you should get married to this guy. And then they'll set it up and they'll be happy for life. The suicide rate for Muslims is the lowest out of any rate. If you look at atheists, it's all the way up here. Muslims all the way down here. Dating is such a big distraction. Even you started this podcast saying like some of the biggest regrets I have, you know, not getting yeah. married earlier, like lying in my 20s. All that like dating, was it really like that productive? All of the dating? Yeah. I mean, I've learned a lot for sure. I could sit and have conversations about this. What'd you learn? You want to have a wife? Like the conclusion you got to is you want a wife. Yes. So like that can be solved if like you just avoid all of that and just get married. Like I understand that there's urges and that you want to get, you know, people want to go, but it's, it's not worth it. Like the, the, what you ultimately want is a, is a long-term relationship as a wife. Yeah. You want someone that has your back. You want someone that's there for you and you could be there for them. And all the other experiences, like, yeah, you learned some stuff about what you like. You like you had anal sex and whatever. But like, was it really worth it? <laughs> like, hmm. Could have been skipped. Could have been skipped. It was fun. It was fun. I mean, I'm not, I can't say it wasn't fun. I can't say it wasn't some moments. I was like, this shit's fucking fun. Was it fulfilling? No. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's a really good point. There, there for sure, I could say these moments were fun. Definitely, I'll say, like, if I look back on it all, it wasn't, there was, nah, there was no fulfillment. I used to do drugs and stuff, like, yeah, it was fun. Like, when you zapped off cocaine at 3 a.m., like, and having a threesome, like, yeah, it's just dope. But was it fulfilling? No. Like, do I miss it? No. Yeah. It's not. It's not Damn, right. dude. Time to find a wife, man. Or four. Maybe, uh, what? Huh? What'd you say, what for? Have four. No, I can't get four. I can't. I, that's two. Not, that's a headache. Have two. 
You know you want to. You, you're uh, a man that wants variety. Look at the, your old 20s. You had this problem like you couldn't. <laughs> the, the one I religion one. that I, I could do one. I could do one 100%. Why not two? I think because I've I've done all the bullshit already that I'm like, I don't I don't got the, the bandwidth. I don't want that anymore. Because I'd rather have my okay. focus be more soul. That's good. Like just more stri- like on the stuff that I want to get done and like someone else take care of them. I love that. Um, and just focus on like what I want to do. I don't want to have to be like focus and then focus, focus, focus. I don't want I don't want that. Yeah, it's a big That's a lot, dude. Time drain. I've talked to a lot of these guys and it's like They'll be on the phone with one, pick up the other phone. And I feel like in that situation too, like we talk about the multiple wives, I feel like there's one that they just like the most anyways. You know, the one they probably spend the most time with anyways. Yeah. Like, so just pick her, no? And then then she gets old and then the younger one takes her place. (laughs) Oh my God. What? Nah, because I like, I really, I really like, is it, is it fucking lame to say like, I have, I have that idea. Like I want to grow old with someone. I really want that, you Mm -hmm. know? Cause like, what like you're you're gonna be what the old hot hot the old with the the hot bitch forever like who cares at some point you're not gonna give a fuck is what I believe. Do you like old women? No, I'm not. But I'm not an old man. Like I don't think it. I don't think an old man is like you're not looking at an old woman like oh this chick's just old. Like I don't like her. I don't love her. I don't. Have, I didn't develop all these years. I can't of, myself see myself ever being attracted to an old woman. I think it's gonna be different when you get older, mm. and because like if you're with someone, then you'll develop a real connection with them that like. You can't find just from like it's a younger, more attractive That's true. woman, That's you true. know, because there's like there's that detail that like can't be overlooked where it's like even the most attractive people. Like if you can't develop that sort of connection, it's like at some point it, it's literally just that one physical thing, which eventually just doesn't mean shit. Because when, when you're super old, like your dick, your dick just stops working anyways. And you're like, you ain't fucking. Al Pacino just had a kid. He's 83. Yeah, he's probably injecting that bitch with Cialis, dog. Man, good for him. Man. That's dope, though. Yeah, get it done. Good for but him. But also like. It's kind of fucked because I think about that. I'm like, he's going to be dead by the time his kid's like nine. But it's Al Pacino. Yeah, but it's like, it's just, I'm saying though. Yeah. Yes, I love Al Pacino. God, dude. But uh, it's like, yeah, it's kind of fucked. His kid's going to, you know, whatever. I guess he'll be taken care of. But he was like, that was my dad. Like I knew It's him. a little messed up, huh? Yeah, it's, it's it is. Because yeah, I'm like, up. my father died when I was six. Seven, yeah. eight, nine. Like I wasn't that much older, and like you, you just like, oh, okay, fuck it. I just don't yeah. have a dad. Yeah, he's a little. Old. And then you watch the <laughs> movies. You're like, this guy was lit. Then you're kind of sad, but you're watching these movies. Like he's kind of cool, though. You know, it's like. But then you never get like, especially that situation. When I think about, it, I'm like, oh, he's gonna watch all these great movies and be like, fuck, I didn't really. And now you know him as like these characters. It's weird. It's kind of weird. Abuji is a legend, but it's just like regardless. It's that I thought about that for a while. I was like, that's really interesting. Imagine like you, you, Al, your dad dies and he's Al Pacino, and you're watching all those good movies. Like, and, and then you watch Jack and Jill. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, why would he do that? Why? That's my dad. Why would he do why, this one? Why would he? I, Especially dad, like that. Oh god. Dad, <laughs> that's a, that's fucking funny. What the? He'd be like, yo, why'd you do? He disappointed for sure. Be, uh, fuck. I'm glad you died. You're fucked. Dude, this is good, man. I'm glad you came, bro. Yeah, it's a good beer. I'm glad, bro. Yo, so so what are you doing in Thailand? Thailand, I'm gonna be there for about a week and then I wanna to go to one more place after I haven't decided yet. We're grinding, so I wanna make more of these um these main channel videos. videos. These what? No, argumentative no, well they're me. argumentative but uh they're good i really recommend uh rat race and how i learned to love the unabomber it's on rumble and twitter rumble.com <laughs> slash nico they're, they're banger videos man uh, i want to make another one of those and also i'm going to be uh training a lot and uh inshallah doing oh you're going to go to aka aka what's that it's in thailand what is that it's a uh, kickboxing gym my buddy owns it Oh, I should go, man. You I'll should. text you the info. Okay, cool. It's it's amazing. You'll yeah, some it. of the best fighters are in Thailand, so I want to get uh, get really good while I'm there. I have a trainer, and yeah, I have a lot of trips planned this summer. Just keep on streaming, keep on pushing, and yeah, try to try to get to the truth. Because like the same thing, like you know, creators like we, we make all this money from like argumentative stuff, but if you're just doing this bag blah 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 Discord calls a day, I think it's boring. So I have yeah. been investing a lot of money into these videos too, because I think that's the uh, that's the, even though I, the return on investment isn't the same based on streaming. Yeah. Um, I am really proud of those videos and I get a lot of fulfillment. I'll have to those. go watch them. Yeah. Yeah. Check out. Um, yeah. You can, you'll see them. I'll check them out. I'll check them out tonight before you I go to sleep. Them, yeah. um, <clears throat> always a pleasure, man. I love talking to you. Hey, shout out to you, you, Brad. Keep on uh, critical thinking. It's, it's, it has been good. Like from the first pod to now to, 
yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's been good, but I, I like to see your evolution as well. I like to see that, that same thing. Um, inshallah, you'll find a wife soon. Oh and man. I'd love that. I would love that, bro. Have you, where have you been looking? Don't Ooh, tell man. me Tinder. Uh, no, I can't, I can't, use, I never, ever use dating apps where I can't good ever. Uh, probably the worst place you could look Instagram. Oh uh, yeah. You're not going to find a good wife on Instagram because every, every other guy is going to be able to find her there too. And I have one potential. Oh yeah. Yeah. You I'm found it through Instagram. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, how you get her is how you lose her. So if you can Damn, get, <laughs> that was real. If you can get it through the DMS and somebody else will scoop her right up in there. Fuck. It's some real shit. You know, uh, the way I want to do it is get, talk to a well, shake. Hold on. I keep talking. You, I see this all over the internet too. Passport bros. You yeah. know what that is? Yeah, of course. You, so they're just dipping and getting girls from other countries? Yeah. Okay. I don't think might. you need to do that. No? I don't think you need to do that. Where the fuck am I going to find him at then? Talk to a sheikh at the, at the mosque, and then once you convert, inshallah, you'll you think start, you just give me a wife? Start, start praying. But no, but they'll see, like, once they see you're praying and you're doing it properly, you'll be like, yeah, I'm looking for a wife, and then the sheikh can introduce you to, to somebody, to somebody, a girl's father, and then you can find a, a nice virgin unvaccinated halal actually, wife you actually find a virgin a good unvaccinated wifey yeah that you could have 10 kids with i don't know if i do virgin is like that's so much for me dude what, what is with you la guys and saying that adam said that, yeah i wonder if ted why like what, what's wrong with the virgin what do you, you want her to be used nah <laughs> but like can't you learn from my mistakes like you don't want to <laughs> like, <laughs> what, oh, what, look, look it, it's it's very clearly the wrong answer your mistake was different though that's different it's it's an extreme example of the same mistake extreme what's wrong with, example what's the, what's wrong with the virgin no nothing's wrong nothing's wrong just you know i mean i like a little seasoning you know sperm seasoning i mean there's no sperm on it it's not that's what like, the seasoning the sperm's is not just lingering on her dude so that's what's the works. seasoning seasoning you know, like dudes like you know a little like a little experience man with with what dick yeah but i don't care bro what the i'm not you had, you act like you and okay i'm the cuck bro <laughs> you can't play me like that okay yeah, what you haven't fucked a bunch of girls who i've fucked other dudes Answer. I, I, I wouldn't want to wife them okay but have you I want uh, have you answer the in question in my degenerate past, of course. But okay. we're, we're talking about wifey right now, not random girls from IG that we're fucking. Of course, I understand that. I understand that. Wifey needs to be virgin unvaccinated, bro. Definitely unvaccinated. Ah, uh, that's so funny, man. See, wait, see how you just said God, Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, I said that God yeah, and His Son. Oh okay. Well, what you mean, bro? All right. All right. What I didn't give a denomination. I wasn't like God, Jesus Christ, also God. I didn't say it that. It sounded man. like you said it was the same thing. God, Jesus Christ. Yeah. I was like God, Jesus Christ said both their names inshallah you'll you'll, you'll take your shahada soon man. you're so stupid you'll come soon hey brad oh. thank you man yo it was a pleasure man always good to see you enjoy fucking thailand yes. uh don't fuck a tranny lady boy absolutely not i mean i don't know man you you might do that bro you're the one you're butthole brad <laughs> <laughs> i'm no seriously i'm gonna connect you his name's mike swick he's got he's got the big really dope gym you're gonna love it all right thanks man yeah, he's got. Yeah. Yeah, I'll DM you guys. He's you'll love this. AKA Gym. It's a huge gym in Thailand. Um, oh yeah, subscribe to the to the podcast. All that good shit. Um, every Tuesday, eleven. I love you guys. Um, he's coming out tomorrow. Yeah, dude. Because the truth is, I had scheduled yesterday with Devin Haney, uh, oh, yeah? re, re, and he flaked on me because I think he was afraid I was gonna beat the fuck. What out the? He flaked on me. He flaked on me. What did he say? What's his excuse? Bro, no excuse. This guy, look, this is Devin. I'm calling you out right now. This is how bad it was. I text him last Sunday. Sunday, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Text him Wednesday. Follow up. Yo, we good? Nothing. Friday, yo. Sunday, right? Nothing. This motherfucker was on, on I think, Friday or Saturday, looking at my stories. Like, you know, you see the little name? And I was like, dog, like, what are you doing? Just tell me no, dude. Don't play me like that. <sighs> I think he thought maybe I was going to try to just throw down like right here in the studio. Maybe he was trying to avoid it. He's, he's my Muslim brother, so I won't say anything bad. But Maybe he was trying to avoid it. No, he's a cool guy. Cool guy. He but was like, probably busy. Maybe. He probably busy. Probably busy. Yeah, it's all good. It's just no. just Yo, know, the story peeping is crazy and ignoring the text. That is crazy. Yeah. That's, I was like, what? Come on, don't do me like that. Uh, Damn. Uh, it's okay. I'll get you next time. Okay. I'm not going to fight you, by the way. I was just kidding about that. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, let's get the fuck out of here. All right, man. Bro, everyone thinks that he's going to be